We're in the thing. Are we in? Are we live? Are we doing the thing now? Yeah, we're doing the thing. Let me... Oh, uh, we're doing the thing. We're doing right. the thing. Uh, where is... See, now it got rid of my... Uh... Show me my Twitch chat. There we go. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what happened to your dude? Alright, he's getting changes. I don't really like what I just did. Uh, he's, he's getting deleted in like... Five seconds. Oh no, no, don't delete him. He looks too good. Five seconds. I got a question yeah, for you, actually. No. Um, on the sidebar, mm. do you get more than two brush options or no? Uh, I only get the, like, your basic four, and then the pro ones just tease me. Damn! Like, like, okay, the, um, okay. I, I yeah. have the pro, and I thought it would be cool enough to... They would have let... If you were on the same canvas as me... If I was, like, a guest with you... Yeah! Like, no. it, so I can watch you use them and then be jealous and envious. Oh, I no! Canvas, uh, <laughs> I just gotta paint with the uh, base, base brushes. Is this brush even working? Wait, what am I doing? Oh, what's the difference what? between the ooh, the thin brush? Oh, I'm using an eraser, doy. Oh, I doy. Oh, I doy. Yeah, look at that brush. Ooh, that looks so, good. Wow. That's how. That's, that's the only brush I usually paint with. Nothing like old soft ink. This is about graphite. Yeah. Thing. Okay. If I lower the density. Meanwhile, I can... all my. Uh... Oh, there you are. Hey, let me like shrink down this pug. Oh, I can't see how much of this canvas I'm using. I'll just no, you're all good. It's just it, it all. No, you, like this works out. Like draw as big as you want because one, we get all a bunch of different layers, unlimited layers, which is awesome. And then two, Sweet it's just layers. it's just you and me. So um, like we can you can draw as big as you want. You don't have to worry about like fighting space for anyone else. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're sometimes you're just like, wait, how big is? And then you zoom out, and like, oh yeah, this pug's pretty small. It's a gross pug. Hi, Ooh. Carl. How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Oh yeah, I I, I would imagine like, <laughs> I'm just gonna be saying hi to whoever pops in. So um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get that. Uh, and then I guess I'll give it a no, like, few more minutes, and then I'll properly introduce you. Cause you are Whoa. you are definitely worth introducing, so. I don't know, but hey, I'll take it. Take it. Taking it. Um. Yeah. No, that's cool. And then like, yeah, I can kind of set up whatever you want to like uh, chat about. Too. Yeah. Exactly. This is uh. I usually freestyle all of these, and this is the first time where I'm like, oh, it's just like you and I. So, like, I can ask you questions, like. Uh, ask you questions. Oh gosh, I know. Well, yeah. this is, well, this is so cool because like I followed you for a very long time, so this is really really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah, I'll like never forget. Um, I got a. I remember you were doing a giveaway for your first book, and so uh, I like won the giveaway, and you sent me a copy of um. Uh, one of your first books, and I I was still in college Crazy. too, so I was like, oh, that's oh, so that's sweet. awesome. I know. Oh, man. Well, thanks so much for the support, and I hope you enjoyed the uh, the old book giveaway. Oh my gosh, yeah. No, all of your books are so good. Bailey, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all are so nice. I know, like, Kale, your books are just phenomenal. So. And uh, Thanks, to you. I have uh, I have a copy of uh, Super Detectives on my on my oh, bookshelf. Yeah. So uh, oh yay! Uh, thank you. So Simon and Chester. Yeah, um, it was a really nice surprise. Um, my um, I'm sure you work with her, Margot um, at Tundra. She's like, what? She's like, do you want me to send you a whole thing of books? And I'm like. I wouldn't say no. That sounds awesome. So uh, yeah, she... it's the best. I've done that with Hendra. Oh, hi, Colin. How's it going? And ooh, thank you for resubscribing, Hoot. Thank you. I guess yeah, we got some people in now. So I'm gonna just Jeez, I'm just awesome. gonna straight up introduce you. Um, 
Oh, goodness. There are all these follows. that You guys are so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, this is my friend Kale. He is freaking awesome. I mean, if you want to properly introduce yourself, you can do that too. Uh, I just want to say I've just been following uh, no, Kale's- No, you just did great. No! <laughs> Okay, I've been following Kale's work since I was in, like, college, so that was, uh, probably 2013. That feels like so long ago. Um. Crazy. I know. So, uh, Kale does amazing work. He, uh, has done a gajillion and one awesome picture books. He's now doing, um, what age group are you doing for graphic novels, would you say? Um, I think they say that they're for like six to nine year olds, but uh, you know, I like to think it's like five to 99 year olds. Nice, exactly. Everyone can enjoy them. They're uh, so um, yeah, I mean, and you've done animation stuff too, haven't you? Yeah, I worked um, prior to working in like kid lit, I, I worked um, at a couple game studios doing like all sorts of stuff from animation to character design, background, and Ooh. you know, kind of and that and everything in between. Yeah, so you've done a little bit of everything. I uh, I remember I met you in person, it was very brief. Uh, you were tabling at CTN and- Yeah, totally. Yeah, and I- uh, and I wanted to buy one of your prints, but you got, but you were cash only because you were in Canada. You're you're from Canada, so oh. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Our like, um, I think that was before we could get a square. Maybe I, I don't remember which year, but I do remember yeah having to like preface that when everyone came over, and then watching people walk away as I lose sales. I know. It's like, please, just because I'm Canadian. It's Canadian. Um, no, I think that was 2014, if I had to guess. I think that's when I went. Jeez, probably. It's been so long since uh, I've done something like that. Um, I know. When was the last time I... you've, like, tabled at a convention? Is it, um, did, um, Emerald City... I don't know, maybe, like, 2015? Maybe 16 at the latest, probably? That was kind of the, uh... That was kind of the end. It was, um, I think also like working, doing the kids books more and I don't know, it was just became uh, not really having the time to work on like prints to oh, try yeah, to sell definitely. and it's a tricky one. Like you're trying to figure out like what does kind of sell at something like that. And you got so many tables and everybody's uh, selling the, you know, fan art galore, which is cool and all, but then it's also like, well, now do I just try to make fan art? then I'm just competing with all these other amazing people doing it. And then if I try to sell my own stuff, it's kind of a niche crowd. Like you got the people who are just like, hey, you got any, uh, you got any Wolverine art? I'm like, uh, nope, all right. Nope, all right. walk off. Uh, I'll see you later. But, no, cause I- Yeah, look for the next. Yeah, I remember uh, one of the prints that I wanted to get from you, and I'm sure it was really popular was, um, it, it was the unicorn print with like, it was like a, like, it had the whole library. You know what I'm talking about? No. But, um, Shoot. I will pretend I know. Yeah, it, it was um, like, it was like a, no, it was I'm like a, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it was like a print, it had like a really smart unicorn at a desk, and he had, um, like a whole, like, bookshelf behind him. He was like a smart unicorn. It was really cute. Okay, I think, um, I did a series of animals that were all professors, so it's probably one of those. I didn't do a unicorn per se, but I have drawn lots of unicorns. Oh, so then maybe totally maybe I'm mixing thinking. it up. Yeah, maybe I'm mixing it up with like a different I, uh, type of creature. Yeah, I, I did like a whale, and I did a pug, and I did like a bat. That was an optometrist, and like a, That's uh, what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm thinking of all these different else. ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and like a coach turtle that like uh, had his like slow and steady poster on the wall and all that stuff. Oh, that's so cute. They were, uh, yeah, those are super fun to do. I love doing like the funny little professors. Um, that's awesome though. I, I'm, I'm sure like, like vaguely would remember seeing you there, but no, so, it, like, it uh, don't sea worry. Of people. It, no, it was a huge sea of people. Like, I don't think we even properly like started 
like, introduce or yeah, in like mutual anything until way later. So yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. I always like always would feel bad if I you know, did meet anyone and then forget, even though of course it is like so many people coming up, and then you're you know trying to engage in conversation and and you want it to be uh, I don't know a good experience or whatever. And exactly. It's super hard to remember everyone. You're like, oh, I'm so, so sorry. I know, I'm really bad at that, too. Um, yeah, it's like, I know all, the, like, I haven't gone to a convention in so long, and for me, conventions are always such a hit or a miss. I don't know if you feel the same way. It's like, I don't know if I have the social yeah. capability Oops. to do that many days. Or Yeah, I <laughs> well, especially um, Emerald City was... Um, four days i That's think a, yeah we went. and it was so long and it was just and it's always cold in those places or incredibly hot and like and like smelly with like sweat and like musk of like people excited to find their superheroes yeah um, <laughs> but it's like one or the other because i remember you either were like shivering in there and needed like a big coat or like yeah you're just like so hot you gotta get get out of there um, oh yeah, and then you, it was either like, like a, um, there was like always some like coin toss of whether or not you're gonna get sick, and then you come back and you're like, oh totally, oh, always getting sick, the like con crud or whatever it was. Yeah, uh, uh, always do, referred to. Do you know Steph Labaris by chance? Yeah. Oh yeah, Steph's amazing. Oh, oh, Steph is awesome. I'm gonna, we're gonna do. Um, one of these like in not uh not october in august she thankfully said oh, yes yeah, so that's sweet um but i was uh she's the, nicest. Oh, she's the best uh i shared a table with her at uh emerald city one time and god she's she's got it going on she knows exactly how to run a table and oh yeah she's a pro and she's like okay every yeah. time you come in like you always need a new set of prints like, cause, cause you'll have returning customers. Like she knew exactly what yeah, she was doing. Way to do it. Yeah, she's been doing it for a while too. Um, cause yeah, I met her at probably the first CTN I did. Um, like I think we maybe had our tables like across from each other or something like that. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, just the nicest person ever. And so it was always like so happy to see her again. Um, and that's what I miss about not doing any of the. Uh, conventions and stuff now it's just like not seeing all these people i know would you ever get back into it or you're just kind of like you're pretty uh I, i'm good with what i have at home <laughs> yeah i don't know it, it's it's a tough one i i would love to just like be able to go and see the people but it is just such a like the expense and the everything like the time and and then depending what you're doing like i like having a table because you're kind of hanging out with everyone yeah and you're stuck behind it but you do kind of have the camaraderie yeah of, you know being with the artists and stuff whereas if i'm just uh visiting you know you don't want to be like blocking someone's table and hanging out with them because they're trying to sell stuff so then you kind of end up just doing your rounds and then you're like well now what do i do or you're waiting for people to be that's at me so when i out. go yeah and it's awkward so <laughs> yeah it's that's, so that's awkward. the thing and i'm like I'm one of those people too where I don't want to like, I feel bad if I'm like making people feel like I'm going to buy something if I don't really plan on actually buying something, but I just want to like hang out or chat or, or whatever. So then if I'm walking, I don't want to like make eye contact so people think I'm going to come and like buy stuff. I just want to know, hey, you know, just checking out your stuff. I'm oh, it's, moving. oh, it's so awkward. Oh, yeah, I maybe one of these it's days I'll, I'll give you know, going to a convention a shot. Everyone's going to Lightbox. I hear it's great. Yeah, yeah. I think it kind of um, became the new CTN, um, it feels like. It, um, yeah, it definitely has. Which is cool. Because, um, yeah, CTN always had its uh, its issues and things, which were well, yes. well talked about over the years and uh, and whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I think it's, it's super cool. And, like, I think it's also really neat, like, like I would totally recommend um, doing the table experience, like even in just once, because it's a, it's a cool experience and it's just kind of neat to, I don't know, be on the other side and, and kind of, it, it's neat because people come to you and you get a, like, you know, I, I met a lot of really neat 
um, artists as well that you know are just doing the rounds and, uh, and it's cool. Um, it's also very funny because like you know in animation and and the different arts and stuff like you don't know what anyone looks like and you you know you really can't do any like pre-assumptions of like you know oh, look at this guy I'm just some random old guy or or whatever right. like anyone could be like the greatest painter that you you know your, your biggest inspiration is it's like if you don't know what they look like um, I had a couple experiences with people where you're kind of like oh yeah so do you do any uh, you know any art and then meanwhile they're like one of the best animation background painters oh right <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, cool, cool, yeah, yeah, so you dabble, all right. I've seen you dabble. I've oh, thank you, stuff. thank you, Bailey. I love all these chunky dogs, thank you. Kayla, you gotta show, did you, you didn't delete your dog, did you? I don't know, they're hitting, I think, right now. I'm trying, <sighs> trying my hand at painting something with I know, you're little brushes. I know, I'm, like, kind of tempted to try and take that leap and try and do it with you too like I don't know what I'm doing here it's, it's a tree it's a tree it's always gonna be a tree look at that tree what a gorgeous what a tree. good looking tree oof that tree's got stars um so how did you get yourself into like like what like into Kidlet, what was your kind of path? Oh dang! Um, yeah, no, I, I'm I know. I know. I'm gonna ask you this question too. Um, I would say, I, I as a kid, I wanted to go into animation, because like, which kid didn't, yeah. you know? And then um, of course, right? And then I, I think like I was in high school, or like even like I might have been maybe 13 years old or something, and I realized animating is a lot of work. <laughs> Like, I don't, like, I, my, yeah. my younger yeah. brain just thought, oh, if you want to do cartoons and stuff, you do all, you do the animating. And I didn't realize there were mm -hmm. other jobs that were with it or anything. Um, so I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I was yeah. prepping for, like, applying for colleges and stuff, art schools and yeah. whatnot. And, um, uh, I was working on my portfolio and I had to submit like part of the portfolio is like you have to submit like a group of images that like have the same theme and I thought oh doing a okay. picture book would be kind of cool um, and yeah, then yeah. after and then after doing that I'm like oh this is awesome so you get to do all the narrative stuff without putting in all the work of trying to animate it so yeah, uh, totally. exa exactly you know you know um, yep so yeah, then I just went to school for it, and then um, I was like my, I think it was my junior year of uh, college. I like was getting sick of doing just basic commission work. I wanted some legit work, and then uh, one of uh, like another artist on Twitter uh, DM'd me and said, "Oh, have you heard of this art agency? This illustration agency, which was bright." Um, and I'm like, no, yeah. I didn't know this was a thing. And then uh, little baby me was like, okay, I'll just apply to this one agency <laughs> without even like, yeah. oh God, without even like looking anywhere else or anything. And that was just kind of the start. Yeah. And then now I'm nice. with a different agent, um, but just been building a, building a career since, I guess you could say. That's awesome. Well, you've definitely been, you know, doing super well. I'm like, oh, shucks. Thank you. Out, you know, like, really killing it. So, oh, stop. Like, no, you're I killing mean, it. You're killing it. I'm just trying to keep my feet in the door. Just, I'm just, as long as I keep getting books out there, then they can't tell me to stop. So. I was going to say, you've done how, you've authored and illustrated how many now? At least um, five, five or six, right? Well, holy shit. Yeah, maybe? there you go. <laughs> Twelve. That's yeah, totally. I think I'm at about with the uh, graphic novels I'm on now, but uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it it uh, was always something I always loved, like storytelling. So to be able to tell my own um, was always kind of like a uh, like dream or whatever. But not really sure if I was going to be able to. Did you like always know you wanted to go into picture books or because I'm going to take a guess and you did animation first, right? Yeah, well, I like, like uh, 
when I was like really like younger, I, I was always like super into like going after everything. Um, like even like, like, you know, I don't know, from elementary school to high school, I was like selling comics and then I was doing comic strips and I found out you could send comic strips to like magazines and newspapers. So I was sending my comic strips to like the New Yorker and like the Chicago Tribune. Awesome, awesome. And like National Enquirer. Um, <laughs> and so I have it. I have a whole big binder of rejection letters still from those times because um, I just loved sending stuff and then I like to know that it was getting out in the world and then getting a rejection letter it meant like somebody actually looked at the stuff I did. Exactly, so I that's a good point. Super excited about it, um, which I, I'm really grateful for that, like the young part of me that was just weird, like had this weird super ego where I just thought like I was great so why wouldn't people you know put me in their newspapers I think um, everyone kind of ha- every artist kind of goes through that like high point phase where they're like yeah why I won't anyone hire so. me you know I'm just really I mean, good I think it's like it's nicer to have that than the like I'm terrible I'm terrible everything I do is terrible and I'm just gonna get rejected you know like some people struggle or have that fear of like oh my god people are gonna hate my stuff so much and it's such a hard thing then, I think, for some people to get past, where it's like having that kind of naive ego at least gets you comfortable with rejection a bit more, you know? Mm-hmm. And being like, hey, that's all right, I'm just sending stuff out there, and what's the worst that's going to happen, right? Whereas other people, I think, build it up so much in their head. Exactly. It's such like a continuous problem, right? Um, but I always, yeah, had that kind of thing, and so I was always trying, like, everything. As a kid, I also made like my own picture book, and um, I just loved, I don't know, doing it all. And so when I was uh, in like, and then I got into filmmaking in high school, and I thought that's what I was gonna do instead, and, and all. Oh, sorts you went of stuff. all over the place. Oh yeah, and I'd go like, I would go big, or I'd try to. Like I made a film, I, I put um, an ad in the paper for auditions. And I had all these like 50 to 60 year year old guys come and audition for me for a free movie. That's hilarious. It was so funny. So all these like guys that looked like they could murder me with their like bare hands were all like (laughs) shaking, reading the sides I wrote or whatever, or like had my brother helping me write the script for the movie. And they're all like super nervous waiting to come in and audition. And then it's like me with my like bangs and like skinny little guy. Hello there. Um, That's so funny. It's pretty funny. But uh, but long story short, yeah, like I definitely wanted to get an animation um, more than anything as well. It was like working for Pixar, working for Disney, you know, it's kind of the uh, the dream. Um, and I f- was definitely like applying to uh, TV animation studios because like I grew up around Vancouver and. Oh you know, yeah. A lot of, uh, animation studios are around, and then uh, by chance, the studio that I did get hired um, by, with the help of kind of a friend I met when I was doing my portfolio, was a uh, game studio um, on Vancouver Island in BC, um, and and that there you kind of did a bit of everything, you know, like backgrounds and some animations, and which is good because you got a taste for everything. Um, but it was. Uh, trees all about um i love your tree so far yeah. keep going i'm just gonna do a whole bunch of like effect layers over top of it oh you make have a question bigger. too as well so but keep going you oh, keep no, i know geez. keep going with what you're saying and then i'll give you the uh, question sure um but basically um where's my brush uh what was i doing oh yeah so working in the games and then I mean, as I was working in game studios, I started, um, like, looking at trying to get into the kid illustration, also just because it was, like, the only thing that seemed like you did it, um, remote, like you could do it freelance or whatever. Oh, yeah, Um, that's so true. Whereas at the time, it's like there wasn't much, and so it was, like, something I was, like, trying to get my foot in the door, so while I worked at the uh, game studios, I, um, did get an agent, um, which was, like... Oh, whatever like 15 years ago um, having no idea what I was doing as well like my portfolio for getting an agent was just a whole bunch of random stuff um, and then kind of learning like oh yeah you should do you know some more pictures that are sequential or have the same characters or, or kind of like the stuff that you said um, 
but I was just kind of going for it again and then slowly doing more and more as I worked at the different studios. And I think as I worked at studios, it was also the thing where you're meeting people at that time, going to say CTN or going to these things, and you're seeing more and more what it's like behind the curtain, mm -hmm. which isn't to say it's like terrible, but I think it's where you start making your choices of what you want, you know, like, yeah. okay, like, you know, working at Pixar still could be the most amazing experience ever, but like, or it could be working on Cars 3 when I got there. And yeah. I'm like, that seems like a nightmare. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, like I, I couldn't do that. And and then it's also like, do I want my whole, like, I feel like part of it, it feels like you really got to be prepared to like really give yourself to it. Like, do I want my life to be centered around it as well? Or like work something where I have more freedom or... I don't know, it's all these things I think you can, you start seeing more and more what is it really like and then trying to figure out what do you want. Yeah, exactly, um, yeah. I, I didn't go that animation route, but I definitely have thought about that a lot. Um, and just like what I, like how much I actually really appreciate being in the kidlit industry, like with publishing and stuff. It's a lot more freedom than I actually thought, which is crazy. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, totally. It's uh, and it's got its like you know pros and cons as well, right? Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, like everything, obviously, uh, obviously does and stuff. But it is that trying to figure out like, well, what's the thing that fits you know you be best or like, and uh, and so like yeah, Kidlit. Um, I mean, I was when my first book got published, I was still working in uh, video games at a studio, and I think it wasn't until. Um, I started getting more and more um, work that was like uh, coming uh, coming through that started uh, kind of being able to like balance one over the other so slowly I could uh, work less at the studio until finally I could fully swap it out and just try to do the uh, just try to do the um, kidlet stuff full time mm -hmm. um, which has been good it's, I mean I've been doing it full time for like six years or something now um, Man, congrats! That's I'm awesome. Like, thanks so much. Yeah, I'm like very, very grateful to be able to to do it, and uh, definitely like you know work nonstop. I I think it's the other thing that people don't understand fully sometimes is where how you're much like, work it yeah, is. <laughs> I, I really, yeah, I, I don't know what weekends are. So anybody who's happy for the weekend, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I don't. Uh, Says me don't procrastinating on my thumbnails. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know the procrastination though, for sure. Ooh, are you ready for that question? Yeah, I'm so ready. Okay, so Bailey asks, um, did you consider yourself a writer or an illustrator first? Um, I like totally considered myself like an artist. Um, it took me a long time to say like I'm a writer or an author. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know, I, I think writing, like I didn't, have any formal training in any of the stuff um, and I think um, with art I, just because you could kind of see it like I could see like oh I like the picture I'm making so I, I can tell that I'm making progress or getting better but with writing I find it's really hard to see that yeah and so you know it's like I don't know is this book good and then you send it and then it does get published and they're like yeah it's good here you go but you're still like well I don't know like it's hard to, and the, when you get to the next one, I still don't know anything more, you know? It's like, did I just luck out with that first one that I wrote? Because it's not you like I have this toolkit now. Yeah. That's so such it's, that's a... the thing I find hard, where it's like, then to be like, hey, I'm an author. It makes it sound like I'm, you know, this educated, know how to do it, and let me explain technique and, uh, and what a verb is. I'm just kind of <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. I, Threw some lines down, I really hope they captured it, and uh, please uh, let me write more. No, I totally relate to that. I've only written one thing, obviously, and even then I look back at that, I'm like, I don't even feel like that was good. I don't even know what's good for writing. And I'm still learning, and I feel like an imposter taking on, like, putting that, like, on a profile, you know? Like, do you feel like a sense of imposter syndrome oh, yeah. with, with writing? Um, I don't really, I don't know, I, not necessarily imposter, but more just that real, like, just not knowing if it's good, and so yeah. it's not like I feel like, I don't know, I've never been too much like, oh no, they're gonna find out now and kick me out, 
but more just the like, well, what if I don't write something that, you know, captures the same as that other thing, or, because uh, I don't really know what I would, what I did that made the one thing good if the other thing I did wasn't good. Like, right. you know what I mean? It, it's not like, oh, I have my formula that I use and now I know I make good books. I'm always also really a person who likes to try different things, so whether it's kind of playing in a different style or trying to, you know, write a story that hopefully, you know, quite a bit different than what I wrote before a bit. Um, so then, I don't know, I never really get, I guess, comfortable, for better or worse. Yeah, like, writing is so, like, for me, writing feels almost kind of scary. Like, I, I, I'm not a bad writer, it's just, it, for me, it's always like a sense of like, oh god, did they only, like, want to take on this project because they just like the art <laughs> or like uh like mm. it's like oh it's fine but oh but people will look at a cover and think oh that's cool looking i don't know May I, maybe i'm too hard on myself i don't know but uh, i mean i think it like at the end of the day the story is going to be you know king no matter what right like mm -hmm. anybody who's like getting a you know wanting to publish a book I think they're always going to be looking at the story first and like yeah beautiful pictures are great but like I would think most of the best-selling kids books out there aren't like breathtaking art and it's not like saying anything bad about any of them but mm -hmm. it's like you know kids or, or anybody I think no matter what still it's all about that story and if it like grabs you I mean if anything art can really take a back backseat a lot of the time yeah um, I think it's nice to have great art and beautiful art and I'm more for wanting to like um, do that like sometimes I'll look at other things and I'm like am I trying too hard like should I be like not drawing as good and try to just do something more really loose and kind of broken looking because I see other things do it and doing so well with it like you know that thing where everybody's just got to do what kind of fits them right yeah I, I've definitely thought about that too um, I think like I as I've like started working on a graphic novel which is just it's still blowing my mind uh it, it's just like a sense like yeah, i was okay. listening i was listening to a podcast and like an art podcast and i won't name who it was or anything um mm -hmm. but they were talking about graphic novels and like one of the people on the podcast mentioned like oh i just hate when they go too detailed because then it t like then it's like oh it's too uh, much yeah. and now i'm like oh shit like am i it's like how do you yeah. like strike a balance i guess graphic novels are a whole yeah. new beast i actually wanted to ask you like um what was the transition like to go from picture books to graphic novels because simon was a picture book first yeah yeah it started as uh, sir simon super scared little picture book um and that was kind of the only plan for it when when we did it, like I just really wanted to do my ghost story and was just so excited that a publisher actually, um, you know, would let me do it and stuff. Cause it, it got sent around a little bit and uh, some of the consensus was, uh, you know, how it's trickier to sell a kind of ghosty Halloween story because it's essentially only gonna sell in, you know, October and then take a back seat on the shelf unlike other mm, books that can kind of sell all year. I totally disagree um, with that, but whatever. I th I think like you I can know. sell you can sell Halloween stuff, or, like spooky stuff anytime. And I think now even even since that book, which was like I don't know, two, I don't even know. I'm not gonna guess the year maybe two thousand eighteen, maybe seventeen. Who knows? But um, I think even since then now, it's like more and more seeing kind of fun Halloween-ish kind of theme things, but being more all year stuff, like yeah. lots of different ghost stories and stuff. It does feel like it's become more, I don't want to say accepted because it's not like it wasn't, but I don't know. It's still a hard thing. Like it's still a choice, right? Because yeah, you're like, yeah. okay, parents or teachers walking in a bookstore, um, overwhelmed, there's so many books, probably just looking at the ones facing out and then say it's summertime, and then they see a book with a big ghost on it, are they gonna pick that one up? Versus, you know, all these other ones that are like, oh, there's a squirrel that's on a summer holiday trip. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make that squirrel book and I'm gonna sell so many copies. I know, yeah. Um, do you have any kind of ideas in the works of like, what you wanna do next? Or like you, you feel like you're uh, gonna be oh, on. Yeah. Uh, you're, I was gonna say like I know you're chugging away on like your 
third graphic novel right now, which is insane. Yeah, I'm working on the fourth at the moment. Oh like, my god, that's now. insane. Okay, it's fourth, just, my uh, bad, yeah. Writing. Yeah, they're getting they're getting beefier too. I, I'm just kinda um again, I like to challenge myself for no reason. So they just keep getting longer. Um because initially, to answer your question, which I never answered, with Simon um, going from picture book to graphic novel. So essentially, did the first book, that was fun. S uh, loved writing the characters, like it was the first book I did where I felt like I really got to play with personality, because so many of my books are generally like more narrative driven, so you don't mm -hmm. get a lot of time to, to actually fit in personality as well, right? It's so right. hard because most publishers don't want a lot of words in the picture book, and so you're really trying to balance how can I get flavor and personality into this book, but then tell the narrative I need to tell? Yes. And all that stuff. Um, and so it's tricky, but Simon was the first one where I felt like I had a really fun time as well, writing these characters. And so then it was like me and my editor Sam always chatted and how it'd be fun to do more, or like there's so many different ideas of things we could do with them, um, but wasn't it didn't really fit picture books because the picture book I did with Simon um, even was a super long picture book. It's 48 pages, which most are 32. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a beefy read, like for kids and stuff. And even when I would do readings of it, I was like, oh man, this thing's long. Um, so Sam's the one who mentioned uh, the graphic novels um, more than me ever mentioning it. And I kind of just like um, brushed it off because like graphic novels were just always so intimidating to me. Um, and like, Same. I was just like I don't know can, you know, do something like that. It's just like friends who do them, and and they're amazing. But I'm just like, oh my god, like how long is this thing gonna, you know, take to do something like that? Um, and so she would like keep poking me about it um, while I worked on like other picture book pitches and stuff like that. And she um, sent me some other books that are kind of in the same vein, um, like Bad Guys or. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember, a couple other things, and then uh, Narwhal and Jelly. Oh, yeah, yeah, which, yeah. Uh, yeah, which are a really fun uh, format. Like, all those books are a little bit different. Bad Guys is a bit older than Narwhal and Jelly and stuff for age range, but it was a really cool format because, like, Narwhal and Jelly is, like, 64-page books, and you can kind of do anything you want in those 64 pages. So if you want to tell three little stories, go for it. If you want to tell one big story, go for it. You want to do mostly um, panels, or if you want to do mostly full bleeds or full images, like you can do whatever you want. And it was kind of cool to see that um, format kind of emerge. Um, and so that's what kind of changed it for me, because I was like, okay, well, the picture book's 48 pages, so add another 16, and I have a 64 page book. Um, yeah. It wasn't as crazy, you know? You don't feel um, as limited. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't feel as overwhelming either, right? You're like, I think I could do that. Um, mm -hmm. Versus a 300 page graphic novel. Um, so that's kind of what, what we did. And then um, did the, the first one 64 pages, and then I was enjoying being able to tell a little bit more of a story. And so then the second one became 88 pages. Um, and then I wanted to tell a bit more story. And so then the next one's 98 pages, and now the one I'm currently working on is 150 pages. Yeah, you keep so going I've, higher uh, and higher. You're like, oh, I, could, really I could never do, myself. I could never do a 240 page book. Yeah, you're gonna oh, do one I eventually. Know. Oh, totally. And then I'm like, why am I doing this? Why, why aren't there just 64 pages? I would be done this one now. Because oh you like to challenge yourself, and you know it's gonna come out awesome. Blood, sweat, and tears. It's worth it, you know. Yeah, that's the hope. And it is cool. Like, I am really enjoying being able to tell longer format stories. Because, um, yeah, you have this story real estate now, which is really cool. And with um, the ones I'm currently working on, um, like, the first two I did were a uh, two book deal. So I pitched um, two original picture books, and then they also put those first graphic novels in the deal. So Oh, that's nice. Books which is very cool, and so then I did those graphic novels, um, which are out now, and, uh, and then I got another four book deal for four more graphic novels. So oh my I'm god, that's so, so awesome! Yeah, so many, so I'm, I'm on the second one right now, 
of those four new ones. So I'll, I'll still have two more after the one I'm working on. So it's are they related the, uh, to Super Simon or are they different? Can I, um, can I? All, yeah, yeah. Like when I, when, um, when we did the first two, I, again, I didn't think we were going to be doing any more, right? It was kind of like, well, hopefully if they actually sell, maybe we'll do more. Um, because, you know, and it's so hard to get a series to take off because there's so many um, in that kind of genre now. That, yeah. that young graphic novel. There's so many, like, like pair character books. Like, you know, Crocodile Boy and... I don't know, Hamster Man. And I did notice Mug that. And yeah. Taco. And Mug and Taco. Like, it's just every little combo. I love Mug and Taco, though. They're my favorite. Um, and, uh, and so that, yeah, so I didn't think we were going to, I mean, I was like, I don't know, maybe, we'll, like, hopefully it sells and then we could do some more. But I wasn't, I wasn't thinking, like, you know, I wasn't planning. The only thing I thought would be really cool if we could do any more since, you know, if we could lock in and know we were going to be doing more than one book, is then actually trying to do something like an arcing story or something yeah. cool where you could actually plan for it. And so then I wrote up a, a three-story arc and I pitched it to Sam. Um, and I was, you know, like we could do like a really cool build up for a story. And that is kind of what became the pitch for these new ones. The only difference was uh, with the younger age range, um, it's harder to do stuff like cliffhangers and books oh, yeah. where you need to read the one before it because like if a kid just goes in the library they only have book five the kid gets it has no idea what's going on has a terrible experience reading it oh that's then, fair you know, yeah it's a bummer right whereas like if it's a bit older um audience whatever they understand that they you know they know to you got to get the um the earlier books first but so that was the only thing so i'm, I'm still doing the story i kind of pitched but i'm having to make it so every book is also a standalone book which has been a Quite the challenge. That sounds like an amazing challenge, though. Like it's been really cool. Yeah, I'm like in the in the heart of it right now because this book that I'm on is kind of the the full setup, and then the next book will be kind of the um, I don't know, I guess payoff story and stuff. Oh, it's gonna be so good! I already know it. Oh, so much work, so much drawing. I know. I know you you were mentioning earlier, like uh, oh I. I feel like my poses are just getting like <laughs> less and less uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> imaginative. I was trying to draw a character oh. like who was like trying to cover her face in a like in a pillow with frustration, and for some reason I was oh, like, man. "How do I make this interesting?" <laughs> yeah, and I just like I find it's I'm always I always feel like yeah I'll take reference photos of myself and I'll use those and I'll put in the research and then I never do and I'm yeah. just like sitting there going oh how do I do this I'll just try draw it again yeah and, like, it's like that mad rush suddenly artists in the chat do you take reference photos for yourself or of yourself I I've done it once I or twice mean to do it. I yeah I've done it once or twice too I if anything like it worked out for you. Uh, at least with, like, not in, when I had take pictures of myself, but, like, definitely, like, environments. W like, if I go out somewhere and mm, I take yeah, a picture oh, yes, of, yes, like, yes. if I'm in a park or a restaurant or something and I just like the vibe, it definitely helps a lot. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's either saying no. Everyone's saying no in that they need to. <laughs> yeah, right? That seems like the artist answer. <laughs> it's just like, no, I've been mean to do that. Been mean to practice drawn hands and uh, to uh, do more reference studies and uh, look at artists I admire and try to figure out how they do what they do. So I asked uh, I asked this to a bunch of artists who did this with me not too long ago. Um, what is your Achilles heel for drawing? Like, what is like? Nope, I cannot draw this. Or I refuse to draw like this. Like ninety percent of people are like horses and cars. Yeah. <laughs> are you the same, or are you like no? Yeah, I can handle totally. those. <laughs> I like. I, I feel like certain things. Like my brain never evolved past like picturing it. Like when you're in elementary school. You know, like so, if someone was like, um, like you know, draw a house, and I, my brain just pictures like this. <laughs> like that. 
<laughs> or like, I'm like, oh no, I gotta actually like paint an actual house, and they're like, oh, that's what a house looks like, and they're like, well, what about a car? Oh, of course. Yeah, I no, was gonna I say no like, worry. I go to the default like, and my brain auto go automatically goes to like, oh, beep beep, it's like looks like a turtle car. But yours looks so much better. No, it looks like yours a turtle car. I just car. no, like, yeah, it's. uh then you know need to like okay look up reference or like actually remember you know how to uh how to draw the stuff but for a lot of things oh no it's back yeah sorry um, i, yeah, I deleted brain. the turtle car long live the turtle car um oh, it'll get its own book one day <laughs> <laughs> oh, i might have gosh. to i might have to challenge you to like can you draw a horse you can, uh, you can yeah. draw a horse. Um, like, what kind of horse? Um, a horse that looks like a realistic horse? Or a well, horse that's just like... I mean, you can draw... I horse. mean, obviously, like, the easy default would be something what like... What are you doing? <laughs> I gotta keep bringing back the same layer. Like, so you could do, horse. like, a goofy horse. Yeah, yeah, like a dirt horse. What am I doing wrong here? I keep making layers, and then I'm not... I know. I'm doing it on the. I'm doing it on the wrong layer too. Feel like goodbye. I'm... Goodbye, goofy. Oh, there horse. we go. I have a brush. There I you go. I'll draw a horse for you. I'm so sorry. I made you stop drawing your beautiful tree so you could draw a really goofy ass horse. <laughs> See, the, you're really good at expressions too. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start a new layer too. Uh, I'll put away my ghost girl. Since you were doing a bunch of stuff with ghosts, I'm like, oh, I'll draw a ghost. And then uh, let me move. Let me move oh yeah, it's, it's a very nice ghost. Thank you. All right. A better ghost than I can draw. Well, see, you're giving a, your horse an expression. Yeah, it's just the way this horse looks. No, mm -hmm. see, that's not right. Mouth. Nope. How do you like... Mm -hmm. How do you draw a horse snout? <laughs> uh, I don't know, I like the... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a camel nose. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh... Wait. A pretty great. I don't know. I, I my my horse nose is not atomically correct or any kind of correct. Go, oh, I've seen some things, man. <laughs> you know how I lost this eye. <laughs> that horse went to war. This horse has seen things that no horse should see. My horse looks like it was on Family Guy or something. <laughs> Your horse is just so <laughs> unimpressed. It's like a mini snout. It's a family guy horse. It looks like it's uh, just like a fan of Rambo movies or something. There you go. Like a Stallone horse. Uh, uh, long, got, like, long some face. Gruff. Why a long face? Uh, See, that's uh, a great horse. All right, I have to redo mine. I oh, a I like Rambo horse. <laughs> It's got it's such a funny little. And then there's a another horse just having a good time dancing on his head. <gasps> See, you know, you know what you're doing. <laughs> la, da, da, da. So, <laughs> Justinia said that horse has uh, veterans benefits. That yeah. Yeah. Oh your, yeah. It's, your it's horse goes awesome. like to the. Um, Oh, what's it called? Horse. The VFW? What, what's it called? The, the where, VW? The VW, whatever. Where all the the veterans go. He goes for, um... Mm. He goes for early 5pm dinner. Oh yeah, he's gotta get the early bird. Never miss the early bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that horse is so cute! This is his friend, Little Minnie. Hello, what are we doing later? I'm gonna tie on for He's no gonna reason. He's tie! <laughs> oh That's yeah, the V. Broken, yeah. weird, cheap tie. Oh yeah, gotta look good. No. 
Oh god, now I'm just gonna try and... I like the little cheek there. Burp. The cheek. Burp. Beep beep. It's so cute! I can't beat you. Oh, horse. that's a cute little horse. What? I don't know, yours is pretty cute. Uh, Starting uh, to also look like another animal, like a... It looks uh, like a like a, tapir, like a tapir, like, like a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a tape. Oh, tapirs are so cute. Oh, it looks I like a tape. You know, it looks like a tapir hippo. Hang on, I gotta like. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I've run out of dudes. Okay, sorry, horse. I like just the derpy, derpy derpiness. Oops, go away. Wait, oh no. Oh my gosh. It's like I can oh, do look it. at the hair. Oh, yeah. Like your angular, angular drawing style. Oh, thank so you. Fun. I'm like so much roundies, but I like you're just like... The roundies? Yeah. I've been like trying to roundies. push more... Oh, see, you. I like the angular look. It looks sick. Yeah, you're, I'm just copying. You're trying to copy. Well, I was copying you, so it's like copy, copy. What's up? I got hair in front of one of my eyes. I have to give him a tie like you did. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. Good. And he's got, um, he's got pens in his pocket. Oh yeah, for writing things, of course. He work, yeah, he works Being at the reviews. office. Looks like it. Very well dressed. This one, uh... Oh, he looks so cute! Oh, your horse is so cute! Jeez, what was this? Okay, hold on. Uh... I don't remember how to draw anything. My horse looks like he sucks up to his boss. Yeah, but getting that promotion, so He's gotta I'm get that judge. promotion. I bring home that horse bacon. My horse looks like he also goes to the gym too. Oh, look at that guitar! Yeah, this horse dreams of uh, being a star, horse, horse star. Horse star. <laughs> These comments are so good. <laughs> He's been an employee of the month for the past eight years and <laughs> middle oh, management man. horse. <laughs> looks like it. This horse has a bullshit job. Also looks like that horse is going door to door and selling some literature. Or He's kind of, yeah. Some literature. I know, I was going to say, Hello, he kind of has like some Mormon energy. Bit. A little Mormon y, but yeah, I like he the looks very like clean he, cut. He, he's a Mormon horse. Very friendly. Mm hmm. Sorry got... to disturb you, sir. Oh no. See, I that's like a thing that I really struggle drawing is uh, instruments. Like, uh, yeah. That's very difficult. At the reference. Uh, mm, mm. Those eyes. Mm. Come, come on. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the nostrils. <laughs> mm. Don't know what's happening. Well. Oh, I like your derp horse up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Something feeling fun about drawing very derpy things. I don't know. It's like uh, bringing back uh, that you know mid two thousands energy. Oh. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, all right, this horse is going in. No, oh, that yeah. was a good Look at horse. That. Rockstar. Sorry, horsey. Um. Uh, just a normal horse. 
Just your normal horse. Yeah, See, that's a good normal horse. Just a, just a normal horse here. Oh, jeez. Look at that sick horse. Is there another animal that you struggle to draw? Uh, I struggle to draw every animal. Um, every animal? But, uh, I don't know, unless it's just I can draw it very simple and put like a top hat on it. Um, what would be one? Struggle, struggle. Uh, I mean, I think any of these like animals with their little backwards legs that you're like trying to remember how the limbs work, or like frogs or something. Like unless you're just drawing like a frog like this. Like the like but, the uh, very goofy frog, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think for me, it's a lot more like again, like car, like le non-organic things. Um, yeah. I find like are very hard. Um, Oh, I'm a dingus. Kind of I did this all on the Got same like, layer. <sighs> That's Eric okay. Vibes from Bob's Burgers. Put some cutoffs on. That's a good horse. Ugh. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. That's what you're. That's what this guy is. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chat, get yeah. chat. Give us an animal to draw, cause I can't. I like. I. 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 would yeah. be down for a good challenge, honestly. I. I think we got anyway, like the good. We got the good pleasantries out of the way. Oh, I'm gonna miss that tree. Yeah. Don't worry. The good. The good thing. Uh, that tree's gonna get. The, the tree is good. The good news is, is this is. I can save <laughs> the this. The tree as a, is good. The tree is good. Um. Ooh, bat. Can you draw a bat? Uh, there's only one way to find out. Do it. I'm gonna draw a bat too. I can do like, um, the, the like, the piggy nose oh, bat. You know what there's. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the weird little pig nose. I don't know what their heads do. do they have ears that are something? Oh, yours is so, so cute! <laughs> cool angles. They have like little just like ears. Oh yeah, big old ears. Big old, oh, big old, big old ears. I'm, I'm not oh, drawing, weird. I'm not drawing a correct sort of bat at all, but we're just having fun. <laughs> Oh, is he is he wearing a tie? Okay, I'm gonna have to draw mine with a tie too. Oh jeez, I got the paperwork late again. <laughs> oh god. Oh uh, god. Oh, Bailey said, uh, "Zoe, you had a bat on your portfolio on your portfolio website for the longest time, and it was my favorite bat." I know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm sorry I took it down. Um, that's such an old piece. I gotta. Oh, I gotta redraw Ooh. that one. That one's from 24, no, 2016. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, no Kale, how, how often do you update your portfolio? Uh, not as often as I should, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. I always find that hard figuring out what pieces to put in like my actual portfolio, like should it be just stuff from my books or personal work, and I find that like a tough balance. Generally, throughout my career, my portfolio usually only consisted of personal work because that's where I always had the stuff that I was the most proud of. Mm -hmm. And uh, in doing picture books, I definitely like try to give those my all. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I I, I feel like I'm kind of the. Um... I think I'm in the same position where I used to put like everything, like my all, my all in personal work, and then it's just like I'm too tired. I I don't have that yeah. same energy as I once did, you know. Yeah, no, I hear you, and it's like I don't know. I also don't like for myself at least now. I, I don't feel it's something I need as bad like to have this like always updated portfolio just because. 
I'm generally getting my work now by making book pitches and then they're getting pitched out there. It's not generally as much people just finding my portfolio and that's how I'm getting work. Yeah, exactly. That's so pretty. Ooh, very Bartok from Anastasia vibes. Oh, I totally see that mm -hmm. with that. Oh yeah, yours totally does. Yeah, I can see that. I, yeah, I was gonna say, like, the majority of your picture book work is you writing it. So, did that come first before you started, like, illustrating for other people, or...? I'm wondering what came um, first. A little bit, yeah. Like, I was always wanting to get, like, a picture book, you know, like... Like, all the work I was getting up to that point was more, like, educational work or, like, whatever. Oh, I, um, yeah, I remember like that phase. I get, right? Yeah, yeah, and it was just, like, I'm, you know, need money, so please give me work. Um, but, uh, the first book that I got published um, was the first one I wrote. Um, and then I got, um, then I started getting some, kind of, um, after that, like, um, First for ones that I didn't write, um, but it did take, uh, yeah, getting my first book out there. Um, That's amazing like luck. That's awesome. Yeah, it did luckily work. Like I was, um, when I did my first book, I was working on another pitch at the same time. Um, that was kind of one of those ones that was uh, like ever changing because it wasn't really hitting and I was just getting really frustrated with it. Um, I kind of have the personality where I, I hate having things that just aren't finished. Like, if mm -hmm. you had a bunch of just, like, manuscript pitches or half-done things. Um, and with doing picture book pitches, it can kind of be like that. And so I was getting really frustrated. At the time, I was working at a studio, so it wasn't like I really needed the jobs, per se. Um, and so... I decided I just wanted to make a picture book because I was tired of just again having like half done pitches. I wanted to actually make a book. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I wrote and illustrated what became my first published book and I made it all fully. And then I uh, sent it to my um, agent kind of just on a whim where I was like, oh, you can check this out if you want. I might just release it for free. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. And, uh, and she was like, whoa, I think this is good enough. We could send it right now to publishers. And What? That's so good. Like, yeah, and, it, and luckily did get published, um, which is crazy because I, I definitely wasn't thinking it was going to. I just wanted to like make something, you know, and it's kind of like that's the only reason I'm doing it. It's like I want to make the story and be able to share it. No, ser seriously, that's, a, that's awesome. Do you feel like... Um... You don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but uh, with how many ideas that you, like, I'm sure you come up with, do you have, like, a um, percent that actually goes through and then a percentage that gets sent back in, into the deep, dark files? Um, I mean, like, I've, I've been really lucky. Um, the ones that I, like... Like recently I had one, but it wasn't really right, so it's just like I get why I didn't get published, but I, I mean, I, I, I'm just grateful, like generally 90% of them got published. That's um, so nice. But Good like, I, I don't, I think, you know, it, it does just depend on the ideas and uh, like, I don't know. I, I'm sure, like, I will have lots that probably won't, and it's, you know, it's fine. I, I don't expect them all to go, but I think a lot of it is, like, putting in the time to really get it figured out and stuff, so that, I don't know, you have the thing and believe it, like, or believe in it, sorry. Um, whoa, look at that expression, so good. Oh, thank you. Look at your expression, so, so good. good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my weird, goofy, strange things. Um, that, those are very good bats. I think I'm gonna play with just the one here. Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah. But yeah, it is, uh, it's a, it's a strange one. Yeah, like, and the, oh, yeah, what I was just gonna say is, like, because. As I've done more books, like the the amount that I've done for pitches has like shifted. Like some publishers, 
like Tundra that I've worked with now so many times, um, sometimes I could just pitch like a paragraph um, and that could be my book pitch, um, which is really cool. But the thing I find really like um, kind of hard is like not really even having it then figured out yourself yet. And oh, so then yeah. now you've sold it and now you have all these expectations on it. You don't know like, well, what are they expecting this book's going to be? What do I even want this book to be? Well, I have to have this book done by this date. So now I got to figure it out. And like, it can actually put a lot more like, I don't know, different stress on it. That sounds nerve wracking actually. But yeah, I found it not as great to do it that way, um, which I've done for a couple of my books. And so I kind of made a act with myself, which I don't know if I'll keep, but hopefully, um, to always make a full book dummy. So like have the manuscript written or at least a draft of it and then have it all sketched out and maybe like a color spread, but just mm-hmm. so you kind of have it figured out like something in your head before you're um, you know, sending it out and stuff. Yeah, that's the only experience I have. I, I've never had the experience of uh, just pitching like and I've never successfully done literally an elevator pitch. And they're like, okay, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah. Let's do it. Like, I, I've i been very lucky with my pitches, too. Um, but, like, I've noticed my pitches just take forever to put together. Uh, mm. Where it's, like, the idea that I, I, I'm working with Tundra on now. I've been, like, sitting on this thing since, like, 2017. And I just kept changing it yeah, and changing yeah. it and changing it. I was gonna, it was gonna be a picture book at first, but you had a very similar thing where it's like, you wanna push it more than just like, I was like, I was gonna be like, oh, pretty please, can you give me 96 pages? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, the most, uh, the longest picture book in history. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, to be yeah. fair, like, I think if you have, if you've got like, like, if you were John Klassen, for example, you they would easily mm-hmm. give it to you, you know? Yeah, but it still is this weird risk. It's like um, some of Jeffers' stuff. Um, like, he did The Fate of Fausto, which is, like, 90-something pages, um, which I have, and I really like it. But I'm also like, I don't know who this book's for, because it's like, I don't know if it's really for kids at all. Yeah, um, that's a good point. And, like, it's like some publishers who are willing to, like, yeah, do whatever, because it's like, you know, if, if I could get efforts to do a book with my publisher and be like holy crap yeah whatever you want to do um yeah, it's like it is t- interesting like i do go ahead oh no i was gonna say it's like towing a line between like well you got to do something that's interesting for a kid but also it's like the parents have the money so they're like adults are the uh, ones yeah. that are buying it so it's like where it's like yeah who's gonna be more interested in it you know yeah for sure well and like also if you're trying to do something too like weirdly artsy which like people like us would super appreciate but is that like what a parent cares for when they want I the know. books for their kid to read and it sucks because it's, it's like, like we, we love the super artsy stuff oh. oh yeah 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 well that's the thing but then you're like yeah well, how like how how do they sell because uh you know it's like versus parents or whoever who want a fun just book to read their kids and stuff it's uh that's interesting. I know. I, and like, it's all like a weird balancing act, I think, because then it's also like, well, I want to have my books have kind of a nice, some sort of theme or message within in there, but you don't want it to like necessarily be like hammering over the head and people hate it when they do, but if yeah, it's too yeah, subtle, yeah. then kids won't even get it anyway. Like, it's a weird... It's, uh, it's a balance. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. Yeah. I mean... I really like what you're doing. I I really like your. You work really fast, by the way. Very impressive. Yeah, I I think I just have uh, I don't know what. Just uh, can't help it. And it's like I think it is hurted, hurted. Um, hurted. It's uh, it's hurted me real bad. Um, I think it's caused me issues in painting because I just get such low attention span. And so I just like I want to make something, and then I don't put in the proper steps of like sketch planning and stuff, and then it always like bites me later, and I get frustrated. Yep, been there, done uh, that. Uh, yeah, 
it's like with traditional painting. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm going to paint something right now. Let's get the gouache out. Okay, well now I just really want to paint right away. So let's just start painting on a canvas without knowing what. Oh, okay, this looks terrible. Well, time to put that away. Let's go nope, into I totally relate to that. <laughs> yeah. You just want to jump right like, in. Uh, like whenever I see yeah, people, yeah, so excited. Yeah, I've seen people who like will do the full digital painting first, and then they'll do the gouache oh, painting. I have to do that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it's like, but why? It's like, no, oh. why would you? I, in my, I can't compute that. Like, I know it's smarter, but it's like, oh, that's so much work. I know, and it's just like, or at least to do like a you know, decent-ish like color thumb or something. And like, I see you know, traditional painters where they do it with paint. And I'm so impressed by it. And I'm like, well, that little painting looks better than like my finished one. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I, if I do like a, a color thumb and like have the piece sketched where I can, you know, kind of trace it onto my painting uh, paper, then usually like there's a, you know, chance it's going to work out. But most of the time I want to skip all those steps. You want to get to the good stuff. You want to get to yeah, lay fun. down some paints. Yeah, I like. I feel more confident when I just like trust, just trust the process, right? You know, just just go right into it. It's oh, like that's man. a pretty color. Mm -hmm. Never works for me. I get so angry so quick. No. Like, well, I'm never painting again now. Get this. <laughs> no draw, only illustration. <laughs> no yeah. drawing. Just get right into illustrating. Just let me do the thing. Just let me make it pretty and paint. I just want to make fun textures. <laughs> yeah, that that's the like most satisfying part. It's like, um, it, it's like what it's like when you put like your final details in. It's like adding texture to stuff just makes it pop. It's like okay, I know what I'm doing. Cool. Yeah, totally. It's, it's just kind of like I mean, it's even like digital painting. Like laying down slats is kind of like a tedious nightmare. That's why, um, yeah, oh god, I couldn't, I got so sick of it. I, I've started just getting myself to just go, like, treat it like traditional painting. And don't do any mm. of the color blocking anymore. And it took a, a bit for me uh, to yeah. learn, but it has made a huge difference. It, it has made painting feel, mu digital painting much better. That's cool, yeah, no, it's great if you can do that. I, yeah. You can do anything, Kale. I'll be able to. Uh, yeah, was, uh... <laughs> but I should like put in that time some like on my um, picture books and then on my graphic novels until the, the last one I would hand paint every flat um, generally on a different layer for every single flat mm -hmm. so like you know every Chester face is just like me using the brush tool and coloring it in mm -hmm. and it's just took so long and it's just there's not a reason like there's other ways to do it but I had just this like weird part of me that's like well no like they be mine I should lay down every brush stroke as if I was painting even though it doesn't matter at all mm -hmm. um, yeah who's who's gonna notice it so stupid yeah where it's like oh there might be some artifacts when I'm brushing it that'll stand out and so, I'm um, guilty of that too it. yeah it's it's like oh but it'll feel more natural I'm, and then you're like who's gonna notice that <laughs> Totally, and it's like, you can just do that after. So now I'm doing the flats in uh, Clip Studio Paint and then bringing it back into Photoshop to uh, do the shading, which saves me uh, oodles of time. Ooh, I'll have to ask you about that. Before I do, uh, mm -hmm. Bailey asked, uh, what's your go-to traditional medium? Um, it's probably gouache. Um, like... Gouache just feels like it's kind of like the like painting for dummies paint because you can just keep painting over it and like that's so you true. Paint, you know, <laughs> lights over darks and you're like, who needs the plan? I could do my highlights at the end. We. That's um, so true. Oh, uh, it is gouache is painting for dummies. Oh my god. Yeah, like I per, I like using gouache and then uh, on top of it I'll do like crayon or color pencil. I'm yeah, a, I'm a big yeah, fan of that. It looks so good. It's like there's so many artists that use all those tools so cool, like so well, where it's what I want and I haven't gotten there yet, but I do, yeah, also want to be able to do it. No, I totally relate to that. It's like, oh, why can't uh -huh. I just emulate what they do traditionally? <laughs> yeah. It's 
just like, uh, I just like so many artists that I like are traditional artists and you know, they know what they're doing because that's, you know, what they are. And just getting those like neat, messy look kind of stuff where it looks like they're almost experimenting in the piece. And like, I just uh, well, uh, love it so much. And that's why I always want to just open up, or not open, but like pull out a canvas and start painting and hope that I'll also just like, it'll look like I'm experimenting. Oh like, yeah, hey. exactly. Mm, it doesn't look like that. Nope. But that's all right. That's okay. Um, but yeah, that's usually, otherwise like I, I used to also even just like having like a, uh, I'm using a brush and uh, ink as well, like uh, of Indian ink or whatever. And uh, ooh, Indian ink! I haven't so touched I like that. that. I haven't touched that in such a long time. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But there's something I liked about that too. It's like there's so much in like the traditional um, media's that I like, where it's kind of that meditative kind of stuff. Right. You know? Where like part of it can be insanely stressful, where it's like, oh my god, I have to put in the pupil on the eye here, and I hope I don't accidentally, you know, do it twice as big as I want. But uh, otherwise, I like the uh, it's just like this calming. You're just laying down these like brush strokes or ink lines, and it's uh, yeah, I uh, I do like that. I don't find I get that necessarily in uh, in digital really. Yeah, I think like the only, for me, the only time digital feels meditative is like when you're just getting lost in the really small details. Like again, mm, with the yeah. textures and stuff. Cause like color blocking I get is, that. like color blocking is not interesting to me at all. Like doing this, like yeah, right I, now I, doing this process is so, I don't know if boring is <laughs> the right word, but it's just. I know. I, yeah, it, well, like, yeah, just like, yeah, it's not the fun part of just like laying down flats and stuff and yeah. I don't know. And I find it like it can be just stressful depending if I have my colors figured out or not because then I'm just constantly changing um, the layer colors to try yeah. to get what palette I want and stuff like that. Like I'm, uh, I'm really kind of somebody who just has to keep trying stuff until it looks good. I don't, I don't again really have uh, the technical know-how, I just need to keep, like, playing with it. Right, 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 right. Um... Oh, yours looks so, so I, I good! Think... <laughs> I love your bed, you. it's so cute! <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, he's gonna hold something, maybe a little mug of tea. He's thinking, he's pondering. Yeah, I say, I need a little tea. I say... My word. Mm -mm. But yeah, I, I want to try to start doing some more traditional stuff. Yeah, I do too. It's it's like, oh, I feel like, yeah, like you said, like a lot of my favorite artists too are all traditional. Or like, they're like, oh, like I I, I love the attitude of, um, oh, I tried digital, but it, I couldn't do it. It was so hard. So I've, I'm going to go back to traditional. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I why know. can't I do that? Right? Yeah, like, yeah, don't go digital. Don't do it. Stay no, with don't. your beautiful paintings and Seriously. charcoal and... Yeah, it's, uh, so true. I, uh, have such respect. And the other thing that always just makes me so nervous, like, I have a... I do have a goal that one day I want to do a, a, like, a picture book all traditional. But the, the other thing, like, beyond... You know, beyond just doing it, is then transferring it onto your computer and actually having it look any good um, oh, compared to what yeah. it looks like in real life. And like that also stresses me out because I'm just like, I don't know, getting it to actually look like what you finally were able to, you know, do. Um, you know. Yeah, that's like, yeah, because what if, um, I don't know, it, it's like you can't really there's no, not to say like, we're, there's just no undo button really. Like, I, if you want to redo something that's like you realize something's not working, that's so much hours of work just gone down the drain. I know, or you're like having to like, yeah. I know lots of traditional artists will scan their stuff and then if there are revisions, they'll do them digitally. Um, but like otherwise, yeah, having to like paint over and try to fix stuff. I, I was mean, gonna I'm say, a, like, yeah, how do you, uh, if you change it, 
if you do it originally, traditionally, and then you'd make the edits digitally, like, how do you make it s look seamless? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be good, I guess. I, I don't know. It's, it's a good question, like, depending on what the edits are, I suppose, you know? If it's like, I can't really match the paint strokes or whatever, but I don't know. Yeah, it's a uh, question. Um, it would be cool. And I just love the idea of having like, uh, you know, like actual originals and, and all that. Like I always find there's something so neat and romantic about that versus like, well, well here is the file. You can yeah, here's the, you can get a digital print. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's a limited one, though, I swear. <laughs> I'm, I'm only doing, like, a hundred, okay? <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, man, I've been there. It's probably gonna sell now that it's limited. Oh, I love the little bow tie and the teacup. That's so cute. Um, let's see. Boop. So you're, so you do said you do he... much, uh, oh, I'm taking over. Do you do much prep work? Um, like if you're going to do a painting, Ooh. how much prep do you do? Do you just go into the actual sketch? Do you do a uh, thumb? I guess it, I would say if it's like for like an actual client, like publishing, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I would like do all the preparations if it's just me on my own free time. Uh, I like to be a little bit more risky, uh, and I'll just do, like, mm -hmm. a really quick, like, sketch, like, super quick, like, under ten minutes, just to kind of get, like, the vibe and the flow of the composition. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. and then I'll just go for it. And then if it's, if it sucks, then, like, okay, who cares? I don't put in my portfolio or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, fair enough. Well, and I think it is that balance too where it's like well why are you doing it right like I get in the bad habit of like well everything I make I want it to be like something I'm really proud of which is fine but it also means then you you either are doing the prep so putting all this extra time in to do just a fun piece or not doing it and getting frustrated because the piece didn't turn out then as good as you your know, mind had exactly. wanted it to be exactly so. oh it's yeah I try not to balance. over yeah I try not to overthink it too hard Oh, that's like the healthier way to do it. Yeah, right? Because if I do, then I'm just going to come out of it like being mopey all day. Just being like, oh, I was, this, yeah. was go this was going to be my magnum opus. <laughs> and then I put yeah. too much pressure on myself. Yeah, and then it also like makes it all probably stiffer. Like, that's what I find. Like a lot of my pre-art or say if I'm doing like fun paintings and then I'm going to do a book. Like, those fun paintings are probably going to be better than the book ones because I'm starting to put so much pressure on those. Like, oh, oh these are the final yeah, 32 yeah. pictures or the 16 final pictures. And, and I find that's always a hard balance as well. Like, you want to be loose kind of again, like all these traditional artists where I look at their books or their work and it's so scribbly loose and cool and that's what I want to do. But then get so, like, intense in it, you know? Like, oh, How do they do it? What's their secret? I don't know. Share me your secrets. Find one of them, eat Just their brains, them. get their powers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what is it? You have to, um, you have to, like, capture them and then, like, suck some sort of, like, life force out of them. It's like Space Jam, where <laughs> they, yeah, they yeah. put all their talents in the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's just in a stylus, I guess, or a paintbrush. Yeah, it, it's like, can I like put my Cintiq pen at like on my screen just to kind of zip someone's talent out of out of their profile? Uh, yeah, right. Only. Only. I know. If only. No. Ooh, see, I like what you're doing. You're adding like a floor. You're adding. You're putting. You're putting uh, him yeah, in no, a it's space. Because you got this like cool bat, and I'm trying to like. No, what somewhere. are you talking about? You have the cool bat. <laughs> hmm. Um, but yeah, I hear you with like the not putting in prep on certain pieces. Like that's something I've wanted to uh, experiment with, which I have trouble with is finding like. Um, 
maybe like a style or a way of doing it then where I'm having fun but I like the result that I'm doing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so it's not set up to be like, I gotta do this great painting or this super detailed thing, but, but making it something where I'm still like, like having fun but excited with the results and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Do you have like just a messy sketchbook that you work in? Um, I'm one of those people that could never do sketchbooks but love collecting them and then rip out the pages. <laughs> Oh. have like a bunch I need to do like loose leaf so I can like keep the things I like and then the things that I don't like uh, disappear um, so I have lots of like loose leaf things and folders and stuff yeah I used to be Love like the idea of a sketchbook yeah I used to be anti not anti sketchbook but like oh I don't need a sketchbook and and like I had a conversation with another person about this not too long ago where it was just the unfortunate circumstance of like Instagram where everyone's posting their beautiful sketchbook pages and mm, there's yeah, just there's yeah. just so much pressure of like oh that's what my sketchbook needs to look like that's what you do totally. in a sketchbook you know here's some anatomy studies that I just whipped out and here's some oh, I just whipped these out no big deal and it's like, oh, cool. Well, I have some horrible looking, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> bases. There we go. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, I think, like, yeah, I, I'm just, I get that. I'm, like, trying to get over that. I'm like, no, a sketchbook is just, like, you don't have to show anyone any of that. It's, like. The thing. It's for you, right? Exactly. And I think it's just, I mean, it is these things where it's like, oh, yeah, no, I need to do it. It's got to look like this so I can share pictures of it, which then, again, is just going to make other people feel bad that aren't doing it and, like, make the cycle go on forever. Exactly. Instead of just sketching in your sketchbook because that's what it's there for is for you to do it, not just to show it off or whatever and be like, well, here's another thing now I can use as content. Oh, yeah, social media is a, a blessing and a curse. It, it, it's... It's so interesting because I wouldn't have met as many amazing people as I have without it. Um, oh, totally. Yeah. And then also it's that curse of like, well, there's that pressure of like, you got to post all the time. And it's like, oh, you got to feed them. Yeah. What, you, you know, you got to have good content, you know? You better have good oh, content. content. Need more content. If you're not posting content, what are you doing? I know. Oh, you're a con It's like, I haven't had this yet. I wonder if anyone is like, com has anyone come up to you and like you tell them you do art or something and they're like, oh, you make content? You're a content creator? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, it's sad because every like art form has now just been defined as content. It's, like, uh, it's so cringy. So it's so sad. It's like, I hate oh, yeah, it. Yeah, I make content too. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Um, I, I hate that word. I, you I hate too. that word so much. I would imagine it's other like people... It's my least favorite. It's so gross. It's just like, it kind of just... It just takes the idea of... Not, not to say, like, art like is, like, above any other form of, like, creation. That, that like, every creation is very important. It's just something about... Like... We didn't, we kind of, it takes away, like, you doing it for yourself, I guess. Like, as oh, soon as you I slap, think it yeah. Also, like, categorize, it, it turns everything into, like, I think kind of meaningless and devalues it. Because mm -hmm. it's like now music is just looked at as, like, content, essentially. And, yeah, art and whatever you're posting, it's just now posting content instead of posting an artistic creation, whether it is, you know all these different things, a sculpture or a painting or a song, I think it just like instantly makes everything so just kind of blah and just yeah. like kind of worthless and instantly digestible because it's just content and it's, it's just be more content. That's what it, content is. It's just content. Oh, and like, did your content do well? Did your con Does your content oh, have a hundred plus likes? How many retweets did yeah, you get? Yeah. Like, how much Gotta engagement keep track. did you get? I mean, I rate it in a notebook. Oh Something God, <laughs> I hope you're joking. <laughs> I, I've been pretty good catching your sarcasm. So, but and then, yeah, and then you said that, I'm like, and that, no, no, the dryness is great. And then you said that, I'm like, my first initial thought was, oh God, he better not be tracking it. That's, that's so oh, unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what did we get for uh, June? Huh? Not bad, not Oh bad. no. 
Could be better. Could be oh, better. Oh my gosh. Uh, people in the chat are saying this is too relatable. This is Our conversation's uh, getting too real now. Too real. I liked my repeats. Check my analytics. Uh, yeah, and then you're like, oh wait, it doesn't mean anything. I know. And it's kind of useless. I mean, whatever. Like, yeah, I think it's great to use it to share and especially when you're you know starting out any avenue to be able to get your work out there and try to get people to see it and and we you know i think we've all had different things where maybe someone has seen something somewhere that maybe led to an opportunity and, and i think depending how things are used there's a positive aspect to them but otherwise it just starts to become so awful of comparison expectation um and vanity numbers and garbage, yeah. you know? Oh, like, exactly. I get people, like you have like, I think double the followers than me. I can't remember how many you have, but it's just uh. like with, with mine, it's like, it doesn't mean anything. And people are like, whoa, yeah, it's gonna be pretty good when you start uh, promoting to, to your audience. Like they don't care. They're not gonna go, it's not like I'm selling 10,000 books by oh, reading a book. It's yeah, like, oh, oh my gosh, of course not. And like, number, like, followers don't mean anything. Like, I have no, horrible engagement. I'm just like, I, like, I have horrible engagement. And that's totally fine. It's like, especially on Instagram, I feel like I get punished. And Twitter, too. I feel like I'm getting punished if I'm not posting all the time. Um... Uh, yeah, and, I don't know, and it's just like, and everyone's always like, I think, you know, the algorithm's making it so my stuff's not being seen, and, and it's like, well, who knows, and then it's just like, and then, I don't know, it's like, what are you going to do about it now, just keep looking, and or keep posting, hoping it'll fix it, like, and for what, to get a couple more followers that just randomly saw you and just decided, not even really caring, to just click the follow, like, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's what it is, but... Can definitely take over people's uh, feel. Oh, I know. I do you ever feel yeah, like right. I actually wanted to ask you too because some people like I know people who have gotten majority of their work from social media. Do you do you feel like you? I know you push yourself a lot, like for pitching your own ideas. Have you gotten any work like specifically because of social media? Or, like, has it always um, been through your agent? Like, 99% through my agent, I would say. I think maybe there's been, like, one or two things. Maybe on, like, Twitter or something. You mm -hmm. know, somebody, uh, like, a, a editor or an art director or something. Um, I think, you know, but uh, I think quite rare. I, um, uh, I don't think I've ever gotten anything off uh, Instagram. But again, like, it's different for everyone, right? And that's the thing, like, I can't talk. Like, some people could be like, oh, my whole career has been built off of it, so what are you yeah, talking Yeah, exactly. Um, be like, I don't know, I'm just saying crap. Um, but, but yeah, I, I don't know. So it's, it varies, but for me, definitely, it's been, been more my, more my agent. Like, the things that I have had come, you know, been messaged have generally all been things where are an instant no, or people who don't want to pay anything, or, or this or that. Yeah, it's a, I'll, I have five hundred dollars for you. <laughs> can you? Yeah, that, it, right? What is your schedule? How fast can you yeah. whip up yeah. a whole picture book for five hundred dollars? Yeah, by tomorrow, please. Um, yeah, but uh, how about you? Like, have you gotten many opportunities on social media? I I would say no. I think the. Uh, all of my work has been like majority through like my like you know agents in the past um like at bright and then um then like other work oh hang on the music turned off let's go back oh yeah i i have like nintendo music playing in the background um That's sweet yeah um what was i gonna say um and then, like, other work that, I, like, all the work that I, I'm working on right now has been from, like, either, okay, like, the the Hazy Dell books, um, I, th I would say maybe they found me on social media. That's the only one I can possibly think of, uh, but yeah. other than that, it's, like, working on picture, like, I, I just finished another, uh, I'm working on another chapter book. And they found me 
because I did another picture book with kind of the same theme as like uh like yeah. um that like oh you do you do okay you do environmental stuff so like we we now we know we want to work with you with blah 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 and then the other one was just me pitching so everything mm -hmm. else has just been through agents and I've, i again i've just heard people who have gotten really good gigs from like instagram or twitter or something like that i'm like wow that's actually very impressive yeah, yeah, it's super cool. Like, you know, you're happy for anyone if they do get stuff out of it. Because um, that's what you hope. And I mean, way back in the day, it's like everyone would get stuff from different things. There'd be people who'd be on deviant art, and they would that's where they would be getting <gasps> lots of their jobs art. from. Wow. Yeah. Oh. And you're like, oh, cool. I never got any opportunities on there, but hey, that's awesome. And so it, it that's what makes it all so hard because you don't want to um define anything to be like hey everyone don't do this because you're not gonna get anything out of it it's like well i don't know you might depends how you use everything right very um, true and so i i don't know but i i would say for anybody wanting to get into like kid led illustration is to you know get the portfolio out to agents and just spam out you know do the research on the agents and then send to a bunch and even if it's just to try to get feedback right like even if they don't take you at least you can learn to be like oh, okay yeah i should you know do some of this stuff for my portfolio awesome and and getting an agent for me is is always the biggest advice because it's like they've oh, got yeah. the contacts and connections right to actually hopefully get your stuff out there and uh yeah, get you some work, hopefully. That would definitely be my advice, too, is, like, get, get the agent. Like, it's it's uh, amazing how many doors that opens. It's pretty yeah. great. Yeah, like, some other people yeah, were... Totally, right? Yeah, some other people were saying, like, uh, I was close to quitting Instagram, but then I got my first major gig from someone who found me on Instagram, so it's really conflicting. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> publishers... <Yeah. laughs> Publishers really overestimate follower accounts. They think every follow is a potential sale. Yes. That is, I. Oh, totally. I, that yeah. is so true. I probably disappointed yeah, like, publishers. Oh, I'm really excited, uh, excited about your reach. Can't wait to see what that does. And then you're like, oh, you oh have, well, get ready. You have so many fans. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, what? They are jumping at the bit. Yeah, <laughs> the the one percent. Like, it, yeah. it's just, it doesn't translate like that. It's like, it's, no. it, it, it's just silly. But actually, yeah, I, I, I have think you, it's slowly probably changing. Yeah. Did you, have you ever gotten, I know like you, since you, I remember you tabled a bit. Did you ever get any opportunities from tabling? Uh, or just being no at a, way, or just being no. at a or convention no. in general, you know? Um, no, but I wasn't looking at all. Like, I was, you know, I wasn't like, oh, I'm trying to get an animation, because all the conferences I did were animation generally, and so it's not like I was trying to in that way, and so I wasn't, yeah, I just, they never, I never had any come up, but I also wasn't looking when I was there, you know? It was more just right. like networking with cool people and trying to sell art and stuff. Um, but it wasn't, uh, yeah, I wasn't really looking for any, so I, I never, uh, but yeah, I'm trying to, I'm also just trying to remember, but I don't think so. I know, it feels like so long ago. Uh, oh it's, my gosh, It's yeah. like, I remember, uh, when like that, I had that brief moment, I'm like, you know what, no, I'm gonna go into animation, and then I, uh, paid to do the CTN portfolio reviews, thinking like, oh, something oh, might yeah. come from that. And of course, I mean, some people get lucky. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I didn't know what to expect out of that. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, I think the hard thing too at, at an event, especially like that, it's like, how do you stand out in like the sea of people who are all wanting it right in that spot, you know? Mm -hmm. um, versus like just doing, you know, applying at studio or getting an email or whatever and doing it when it's not like among all these other people in, in one setting or whatever like other amazingly like, talented people so many people yeah i would have like some lots of people would like come up if you had a table and want um your opinion on their portfolio oh that's so sweet you, like, have, 
it's very interesting. <laughs> you have no power over anything, and you're like, I'm just a person trying to make a you're living. Just like, right? I'm, you're just like, I'm wishing you the best of luck, my friend. Like, <laughs> Yeah. So, well, some are like so good that you're just like, oh, you're far better than me. I, I, yeah, why like, are you coming up to me? <laughs> get out of here. You're making me feel bad over here. <laughs> um, and then some are, you know, interesting, and you kind of feel, uh, yeah, like... I don't, you don't really know what to say when it's just like sheets of lined paper and sketches that they kind of put in front of you and Aww. you're like, oh geez, oh geez, I wish you the best, but uh, oh man, I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, and that, like and in person too, that must put a lot of pressure. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it's like if you have some okay social skills to at least you know, I don't want to make anyone feel bad or anything and just want to kind of make anyone, you know, feel good and be like, hey, I keep on going for it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. And you would get some people who would latch on to your table and not leave, and that was also <gasps> always kind of hard. Oh, no. Like, I, you're blocking my table, and now you're not really saying anything either because you run out of things to say. That's oh, a God. nightmare. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> trying to think of, you know, like uh, all your little social cues of like, all right, well, yep, I uh, hope you enjoy the uh, the rest of the convention. And they're like, mm-hmm, yep. Oh, yeah, a ton yeah, and then they just, oh, like, okay. they just keep coming up with more things to ask you, yeah. Yeah, and just like, oh, God, oh, no, Oh, no, I'm, I wasn't um, prepared for It's pretty for funny. It's, uh, there's something, uh, it's pretty, I don't know, it's kind of funny because it's just part of the experience, too, and so there's, there is just that. Yeah, I bet, so I bet you have some interesting stories. Oh my gosh, I, I'm looking over. Wow, I love what you did. That's so smart. Oh, oh that's so wallpaper. cute. Just, uh, I think I've yeah, done enough on this bat here, but then I see you still working on like a rad bat. I'm like, oh, I gotta add something else. because No, I, I started on a second bat, so I'm like... Yeah, he's cool, a little blue. Blue. I'm blue, but about a D ba da da yeah, all right, I'm gonna take off this stuff here. Let's get a different animal. Well, oh, I, yeah. I'll finish your bat. I don't want well, that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'll, anyone in the chat, if you want to give us an animal or just any sort of prompt, we will take it as we vent our other <laughs> art <laughs> frustrations. Art random things. Art rant. Yeah. It's like, it's like, art rants. It's like Twitter art rants, but it's just between two people. <laughs> yeah, totally. So it's not really it's much like, of oh, a yeah, not cool. much of a, a beef going on, but yeah, that's true. No, it's like Kale. I have beef with you. You're just oh, too damn, damn good. It. You're just too oh, good. Don't get me started on you. Oh god. Don't get me started on you. I'm just tending and hope it works out. <gasps> Pit bulls! Oh, I'll draw a pit bull. Pit bulls. You, you drew yeah, that doggies. so freaking fast! Oh my god! Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, I draw this guy a lot, so. Oh my god! I know you. You. You're a natural. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll finish my little look blue bat. Look at the butt. Look at that butt. <laughs> yeah. You're just a natural. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's sassy. That's a sassy That's boo a sassy butt. That's right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah I gotta, I gotta Google a pit bull then. Yeah. Oh, I've got a singer so pit bull. <laughs> I don't think I've ever drawn a pit bull now thinking about it. I don't think I have either because my dogs generally are like, you know, um, generic dogs more than anything more than like um you, you you do like the the typical um uh like flappy ears and pointy tail and a big old nose oh yep just uh you know doot 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 i'm a dog oh uh, see that's a good old dog <laughs> oh that's a cute old dog I'm a wizard. Look at that good old. Oh, he's a wizard dog. <laughs> I'm a wizard dog. Um, but he's actually an evil wizard. Uh oh no. Oh um, no. All right, he's going away. Deleted. Uh -oh. All right, pit bulls. Okay, well, pit he, bulls. He's out pit of the way. bulls. He's out of the way. 
Yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Beefy, beefy little pit bulls. <laughs> Sweaty bat. <laughs> oh, that guy's pretty great. Oh, I like this guy. Okay, I gotta put it on my other monitor. I know, I gotta... I gotta look at, um... A pit bull, too. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, I have, like, God, a basic why? idea. Oh, they're just so cute. They're just adorable. Yeah. Oh, okay, those ears are good. Oh, I like that guy, but his ears suck. Uh, <laughs> what makes his ears suck? Well, you can't see them in the angle. They, like, they're behind his head, so I, I can't tell what's happening with them. Okay, I, I, found, a, I found a cute I mean, he's picture. got good ears. I just can't, uh, I can't see them when I need to see them. All the poor ones with their cut ears. Oh, so that's terrible. The worst. All right, I'm going to... thing. Here's All right, I, one. I'm going in. All right. A lot of, like, puppy ones. Wanted kind of like a big old guy. Hey. I like the jowls. They're so cute. Yeah, jowls are. I find they're so tricky to draw. I find actually like dog faces and stuff can be really hard, or, or some it animals. It can that be have, actually. Like, I struggle weird to. Weird jowls and stuff. I struggle to draw my dog. Yeah, I have a hard time drawing my dog too. She's just all like fluffy and like. Oh, your dog is so Surprisingly tricky. Cute. So hard to draw. Oh wait, I actually need the tab to do the drawing. Do 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 do. Where are we? Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I like this pit bull uh, photo I'm looking at. He kind of oh, look He kind of looks like okay. a thumb, and I appreciate that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he looks like he has no neck. It's just really cute. That's and then they got, awesome. He's got like the bat ears like my dog does. Maybe my dog is part so pity. Good. I wonder if I'm looking at the same picture as the one you're looking at. It's like a white pit bull. Oh no, mine isn't, no. but he looks like very surprised the one I'm looking at. And it's not gonna look as pretty as yours, but let's see. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at those ears. Yeah. <laughs> Sid in the chat said, my pit looks 100% like a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a little weird and dirty because that's how I... Do you have thumb energy? Click here now. Oh, <laughs> look at Look at your expression! <laughs> oh my god, that's so good! <laughs> mm, looks, somebody say my name! He looks so... He looks... <laughs> the, I, <laughs> the wrinkles! <laughs> oh my god! This, this is, is the funniest um... dog ever! <laughs> it's him at his like, job interview. Oh jeez, don't, don't, don't get it wrong here, remember what you practiced. Oh my god. Look at oh, this. I need this. Look at the lumps. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, yours is so cool looking. Yours is so cool looking. <laughs> Mine is, this is the stupidest looking look at. Just like you're very, um... Um, like the fine, I don't know what, the, I don't know what word I'm trying to look for, but it looks like very thought out line choices, which I think is really cool. Like you, you seem very, um, sparse in your lines, but it seems like, uh, oh, you know shucks, you thank but, you. Um, it's very impressive. I just lay down like a hundred lines very close together as I go. Um, and I think, yeah, it's really nice. Like. I would have to sketch something really rough and then my next sketch would look like one of yours more. Like I would need to figure out what those lines are going to be where it feels like you can kind of um, do that as you're drawing, which is really cool. I, th this, I actually want to 
prove a theory, possibly, um, to go off of that. Uh, did you ever just go through a phase where you just only drew in pen? Uh, oh, probably. I okay. mean, I, I'm sure, like, I, I did, like, when I was younger. That would have been, like, a good long while ago. Yeah, because I, that's, like, my thought of, like, people who are really confident in their sketching, uh, like, purposely, like, just, just only did stuff with, like, a ballpoint pen, um, because, like, it, it mm, I think it just, yeah, like, yeah. forces you to, like, think more, not strategically, but, um, like, uh, I, like, when I started doing it, like, my sketches got way less feathery. If that makes sense, you know, like that okay. typical like feathery uh, way of sketching. It kind of forced me to like think like, well, if I'm gonna, if I can't erase, I gotta, I gotta build some confidence somewhere, I guess. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. It's always interesting to see how how different people do that too. Mm -hmm. Like I think, yeah, I don't know. I, I do like that being able to like, you know, just play with pressure and then with like a ballpoint pen being able oh, to do this yeah. like light sketch and then you know darken where you want like i think and i just i uh, i think um am drawn towards that again kind of more like organic -y, so everything is a little more wonky lined and stuff Ooh, wonky's of, like, great wonky straight. is very great but i do like i mean again all your your lines are so cool because they're just oh thanks very neat. oh shucks yeah, thank really cool. you Oh yeah, I just like Justinia says, uh, "Big mood." I gotta build up my sketches too, so you two can definitely yeah. relate on that. Yeah, it's uh, it's something that I like about it too, because it's kind of like a bit freeing in that way. But I, I do like um, also like that the clean look. I had a phase when I was probably doing my first portfolio that was more like angular stuff and yeah. probably also because I was creating in, in more like paths in Photoshop and you know flash and stuff where it was more like doing harsher angles and stuff um, <laughs> what is he is he holding what what paper is he holding that's his resume oh it's his resume oh wow he's ready to go he's like please hire me yeah he's at his job interview please oh, hire me geez. He needs like sweat drops. Oh. He's like, he's very nervous. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, don't think about it. Don't look too hard on the details. See, oh God, are they gonna know I didn't do any of this stuff on my resume? Like you're just so good at expressions. Like it's so, it's just so fun and it looks so natural. It, it just looks, it just looks so good. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I do like, I think it's probably also that like animation, like wanting to do animation and like oh, kind yeah. of study where I find lots of like picture books weirdly like aren't expressive. Um, and like again, whatever works for people, but I find like so many picture books, it's just like, you know, a person and they're just like this. Yeah. <laughs> and like that's, and you're like, well, what the heck are they thinking? It's like, Bob, you couldn't believe a turtle was there. I, yes. Oh, wow, yeah. Because, like, some stuff in picture books looks so stiff. I actually yeah, had, I actually yeah, had someone, I uh, I had someone email me and say, and asked, uh, do you feel like having, like, your style or, like, taking a lot of inspiration from animation artists, like, hinders you in the publishing world? Like, do you feel like you get pigeonholed, like, when your style is more do you ever get, um Do you ever get told that your work was too commercial looking? Yes. Yes, absolutely. That was always the big thing when it's, like, coming from animation, and it'd be like, oh, you know, I like it, but it's just too commercial. And I'd always be like, what? But doesn't that mean it's good? I don't understand. The... That means it sells well, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, it's a commercial. People will like it. Get out of here. Wait, what? I would, yeah, get that. And I think, um, in doing, um, characters with, um, like, white eyes, um, mm -hmm. like, cartoony yeah. eyes or whatever, lots of publishers would really not like that. That's why I generally stuck to the, like, pupil eyes. Um, yes. Just, like, I have noticed like, oh, that, too. 
<laughs> Bailey saying calling out John Classen. No, hey, to be fair, John no, Classen's got good expressions. No, and he's just, like, he's great, eyes. and he used to work in animation too. So, oh yeah, his stuff's crazy that yeah. he did in animation. I, um, I liked his work in yeah animation before he did picture books. Oh yeah, um, no, his like concept stuff was like so good, and like Classen isn't one because like he is. He's getting what he's going after. Where I think lots aren't doing it in the same intention that he does his expressions that I think really work for his stuff. I agree. But other ones I find are so stylistic and just wanting to do this very stylized look. And I think a lot of those looks are beautiful in, I don't know, like in an image or in a background. But then when there's characters, sometimes I find it becomes very limited looking as far as what they know what to do with mm -hmm. to get expressions. But I don't know, then lots of people, like, I mean, they probably sell more than my book, so I can't, uh, can't sit here and, uh, judge. be like, meh. <laughs> Let me tell you. Dot eye gang, rise up. <laughs> I Maybe I should have made my dot eyes. <laughs> no, I've definitely, like, yeah, I've, I've, I wasn't I've, planning here, but. Yeah, I, I, in, like, uh, there are different like projects I've had in publishing and picture books and stuff, I've definitely switched different eye styles. I did like yeah. dot eyes, I've done uh, like whites with, uh, you know, black pupils, I've done where it's just, um, where it's all, all, all it is is like this. Like where it's just, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, where it's just the line. Um, and then like, and then I've like changed again where now I do like the full eye, but I think the trick is, is you, um, you don't do like bright white for the eyes. Like if you make it even like yellow oh, or yeah, something, yeah. I think to, maybe there's something that like clicks in your brain. That's like, ah, that is, that is more sophisticated. Um, yeah, it could be, uh, um. Ooh, this dog. This is the Bailey dog asked, dog. Uh, Zoe, what was your reasoning for switching eye styles? Uh, I just I keep wanting to, ch uh, you know, challenge myself. And I like, I was just never happy with my style. I'd always want to just keep changing. And I know my eye style is probably going to change like a year or two down the, uh, down the road, too. I don't know. It's, it's just normal style change stuff. But I think, yeah, I think it's fun to like try yeah. different stuff too, right? Exactly. Like I know for me, like when I started out in publishing, I definitely had the more like the really big eyes, like really big eyes, like. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. Yee. Oh, look at that little. little thing. Yeah, I would go really big like that, and then I was like only getting like uh, educational work. And I'm like, nope, mm, I'm yeah. done. I'm done with that. Uh, so then I, let me see if I can remember all the eyes that I drew. Um, first, it was like the big eyes. Then it was the pupils, like just pupils, like the dots. Then I went to this, uh, and now like I do this. The little, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like a constant change I think it's nice though like i i mean i did a couple books that had the big cartoony eyes yeah yeah um <laughs> Those stuff, but, like... yeah, I mean, usually been... <laughs> sorry they looked like boobs for a second sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry i didn't crazy mean crazy eyes the old boob <laughs> eyes the tumblr's gonna flag you for those yeah <laughs> look at those eyes oh, oh my Luca. god a wooga eyes. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would not approve. Ooh, a wooga eyes. Hey, look at that expression. <laughs> that's my, uh, um, <laughs> that's my, oh, I went to, Cal like, what do they call it? CalArt style? That's my CalArt style. Cal style. That's a nice CalArt style. Nice CalArt style. Has anyone told you that before? That you have CalArt style? No. Okay, good. I, I I'm so glad I, you I, haven't. I'm so far removed from any kind of CalArt style that, uh, oh, yeah, I've never really been, like, compared to too much. 
Um, you, ha- you, you haven't know. gotten the, oh, you, you, do, you do like Disney style. Have you gotten that yet? No, because again, I don't think I really do Disney style. Like, the thing is, is like, like, like so many people know, like, like who don't do Disney art will, look. The, yeah, so many people will come up and just be like, oh, that reminds me of, uh, and, like all they can think of is like mm, Disney. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you draw Pixar stuff. Like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I'm sure I've gotten some weird comments at times that then you're just kind of like, yeah, sure, okay. No, you're just so original, say. so you're just... Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, one of a kind, really. One so. of a kind. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, be another. <laughs> uh, <laughs> someone... <laughs> I'm just catching up with the chat now. You guys are great. Uh, female presenting eyes are banned. No, no, no booby eyes. No booby eyes. No booby eyes. No booby eyes. Um, uh, Sid said, I get Disney th- the Disney thing all the time. Um, and then uh, yeah, that's Elisa, annoying. Yeah, and then Elisa says, at conventions, people always ask if my originals are from something, which feels like a compliment, to be honest. But then it, I'm, it's like, if you want it, please buy it. <laughs> For me, yeah, it's like, I, what do I answer so you'll buy it yeah, and not be disappointed? That is the like, correct no, way to look mine. at Ooh. it. That's the correct way to look at it. For me, I'm actually like in the camp of like, if someone says, oh, it reminds me of blank, I get kind of offended by it. I don't know why, I probably shouldn't, but maybe, Yeah. I don't know. Like, have you, you had, I'm just surprised you haven't gotten anything like, uh, oh, it, it reminds me of blank. But then again, maybe, I'm maybe I'm just remember. cynical like that. <laughs> Like I've gotten weird things or people who just didn't understand like original art like at a con kind of thing or, or a little like pick up prints and like not they'll be like what are these I'm like I don't know how to answer your question what is that art you can buy like it's are you do you having a stroke do you understand yeah but but means? what is it what what like, is what, that what piece is of paper this? yeah. Uh, it's a, oh, the art print's for sale. Oh, uh, h- how much? Oh, it's just like, that's just $10. Oh, $10? <gasps> okay, bye. <laughs> wait, wait, do people, like, <laughs> like get offended? Like, do, that's so oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get some, and you're like, I bet I couldn't, I could not sell it for any less without losing money, but... $10? Oh, what? That's cheap. $10? I think that's really cheap. Ten dollars? Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, people are, are you get some interesting people for sure, but and then again it's kind of the fun of it too, you know? Yeah. Did you ever sell your uh, did you ever stories. sell uh books at like any of the conventions that you were at or is it just like prints? No. I never yeah, I never sold any of my books. Um I remember like at the time a long time ago, I think when I was still doing some when my first book was out. Disney wasn't a fan of that. They didn't want you going and selling your own. Mm, um, so I was okay. told that I wasn't allowed to do it. Um, and so, yeah, then it always, I guess, like in the time after, it had like kind of a bad taste in my mouth. Like, oh, I guess I, you know, shouldn't do that. And then but I've now, seen so many people do, do it. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like everybody, yeah. Like so, if, if, I, I would totally do it now. Yeah, exactly. Like, if if I ever by chance was like, oh, yeah, I'll table. Like, something like this could work. I think I would just really just put the focus on the books. Because I think that's, like, what's... I think that sells... I would imagine that sells pretty well. Like, you just sign some books. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think if you get... Depending what kind of conference. But, yeah, you get the parents or whatever, and they want something for their kid... Oh yeah, you know, like I don't people shopping for themselves and they're like, no, I want my you know specific prints or yeah, or whatever like characters. I don't imagine like being at like some kind of anime convention and being like, oh, you buy, yeah. uh, buy my kids book, <laughs> and they're like, you want a kids book? Kids book here. And yeah. they're like, well, do you have Hatsune Hatsune Miku prints? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, moving on. Like that's what the story's all about. Just buy the book and yeah. leave my table. And... Yeah, Hatsune, Hatsune Miku's in it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, oh yes, I mean, come on. Okay, I, okay. Now I'm trying to now I'm trying to catch up on chat again. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, 
Someone said uh, they might be nervous and just reaching for something to say, and it's hard to hard talking to people. Oh, that's like what you were saying. Like, oh yeah, uh, for sure. At, at, for table. Get lots stuff. of those types of people for sure, and, yeah. and it's all good. Like, yeah, it, it's an interesting one because you are trying to uh, converse with people because I don't know. Like, I found like I was always kind of irritated by not irritated, but I was. Well, it was kind of the wrong way when you'd see people who would be at their tables, but they would just be so uninterested in people that are coming to their table. Like, oh, they're yeah, They're just yeah, on yeah, their yeah. phone, or they're just drawing with their head down and don't even look up. And it's just like, well, I don't know. Like, I want to at least be engaging with the people. And yeah, then, you got to be at least you know, a little bit people sociable, who like to. you know? Yeah, so like, okay, like, hey, here I am. I'm a, I'm a happy person. I'm happy you're here. How's it going? Um, and you get, you know, some people who are more social, socially awkward and don't know how to deal with that and maybe are scared when you talk to them and then leave instantly. But yeah, I would uh, kind of try to, um, I don't know. It's just like, I'm also there to chat and hang out. So I like I doing that more. I love your pitbull. Look at that outfit. Oh, oh yeah, so yeah, cozy, yeah. cozy attire. Yeah. Uh, worker. Elisa uh, said, uh, worker. Uh, I've had people pick something up from my table and ask free, and it literally says $10 on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I like the people. Free? Yeah. People love their free stuff. It's like when you have business cards on the table, and then they're all gone in like two minutes. Oh, people they just love grab anything. Stuff. And you're like, why do I do this? So then you learn to just like have them behind the table and like, yeah. give them to people you want to. But... Like, that was worth printing a couple hundred business cards just so people can throw them in their bag. Yeah, right, and like then you never do art. anything with them ever again. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, Sid, so, uh, Sid said, uh, I just finished a con and also got lots of folks who thought $10 was too much. It always yeah. made me wonder what price they would have actually bought, like $5, $1? See, like, like a, a dollar. A dollar. Look, no. How dare no. you charge that? Yeah, I know. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's so uh, it's weird, but it, I don't know. I mean, obviously, just not like the people you want to deal with anyway. But the thing that I'm always like um, find so wild are are the artists who kind of get that interesting. Um, I don't know, like we like cool niche following of people that are willing to pay for their prints. Yeah. And so there'll be those artists that only do like limited run of prints and each one's like a hundred dollars and they all get sold out instantly. And I'm like, man, that's so how wild. Do, how like, do you and do kudos that? To them. No, seriously. But yeah, it's just like by by chance you get that following and and you know, and again it's like super impressive and, and you're happy for the people. But you're like, I can't, you know, to sell a print for ten bucks, I'm usually still stuck with a bunch of leftovers if I'm ordering them. <laughs> yep. You're like, oh, why am I doing this? Oh, your dog is so good. Oh, no, your dog is so good. <laughs> your dog is like a beautiful art print. My dog's a fever dream. I love your fever dream dog. He needs to, like, also have, like, a cup of joe or something. Like, yep. he's totally a very, like, he looks like a trucker. very, yeah, he feels like he's a very, very, like, honest, like, hardworking, sort of. Yeah blue collar joe he's he's just oh chill. yeah very much so it's just like always having to talk to his son who he's kind of disappointed in <gasps> oh and no dennis... <laughs> what if he, what so if he lazy, was dennis. what if he was very proud of his son oh like secretly he is but he can't show it because he's very old school oh he's very he's way too old school he, he he'll like give his son yeah, a pat yeah. on the back and like, It'd be a big thing, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a lot of emotion. I don't know what this is, but I was gonna erase it now. It looks like a scar, but well, he's been through a lot. He has been through a lot. We don't, we don't, he'll never share his full story, you know. No, no one knows, yeah. Just little tiny bits when he goes quiet and looks out the window for a bit. He's just contemplating life, he's contemplating <laughs> yeah. like uh, all of his life choices. Yeah, lots of choices, regrets. Oh, poor, poor. Um, <laughs> Money in this economy? I know. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. And so, so you're working on, like, your graphic novel is going to be, like, 
250 or so, right? Yes, 240, baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so. I, I'm still. I'm. I'm even surprised they announced it because uh, I'm still working on thumbnails. Uh, oh so. yeah. Well, I think once the contract signs, that's usually like, you know, game to announce. That, that's fair. Yeah. I. I'm just. I'm just so excited. It's. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of work, but that's it's gonna awesome. be. It's gonna be worth it. You know. It's like. I think, yeah, totally. I think it's really, like, what you were talking about earlier with, um, like, just the graphic novel format, like, I was gonna say, too, even just aging up your audience, even just a little bit, like, opens up so many mm. story possibilities. Like, mm, totally. Can, yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's really cool. And just, like, as a, um, as a storyteller or author or whatever you want to use for a word, um, just to like challenge yourself and get a play with a bit more like you know it is like I found it like really in intimidating to think of doing but then um, yeah, it's been really cool and like I'm really excited about just even the stories I'm getting to tell now like we're kind of excited to see any reactions to them or whatever yeah exactly oh my gosh uh, the chat is saying your dog looks like <laughs> the granddad from King of the Hill <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, old Colonel. Or... Yeah. They took my knees. I killed. They Fitty took Man. my knees. <laughs> I killed Fitty Man. Fitty Man. That was, oh, King of the Hills. Come great. here, Hank's wife. <laughs> Come here, Hank's wife. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to draw like a oh, Bobby. Bobby. I want to draw a Bobby dog. Little Bobby. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Oh, no. uh, uh, how to draw a Bobby with uh, <laughs> remembering. That's my purse. I don't know you. I don't okay. know you. Oh, my handwriting's so bad. I don't know you. Oh, Bobby. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. <laughs> Oh, God, this, oh, uh, man, that's such a good show. I love King of the Hill. I know, I gotta rewatch yeah. it. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, too, at some point. What's it's the beer like that... Such good characters. Yeah. What's the beer that they drink? Lone Star? Is that what it is? Uh, no, it wasn't like Alamo or something. Oh, yeah, like Alamo beer. You gotta draw him with an Alamo gotta beer. Go drive down. Oh, that's true. He was just offering his hand for a strong handshake. But, oh, uh, no, th I mean, well, that's it, pretty good, too. It's like and then judge someone, their character on their handshake. Oh, that's so, th those are cute dog beans, dog hands. They're oh, very yeah, cute. yeah, I got it. I don't know what, I think there's an extra one in there, but it's Dan, because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what, what is it with dog hands? They kind of, they kind of have a thumb, not, I mean. Oh, they're, they're little thingy. A little thingy. Yeah. What is that thing I called? Don't know. Look at Charlie right now. Oh. Oh yeah. Is that like a? Uh, is it a dew claw? No, that's not right. I don't so know. Oh, it is a dew claw. Thing. Isn't it? Yeah. It looks like you drew like a sweet talons. Oh, I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, though I don't know what that. They, those had like <laughs> double. Yeah, we're well, right. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little frivolous. Got a little crazy. <laughs> Oh, no, that's a nice that's a great you there, dog. Jeremy. He's so good. What's his? What are you naming your uh, your dog? Actual dog. Um, I don't know. See if Chat has any names. All right, Chat. Do you have Do you have a name for this dog? That's a good name for this dog. Look at this dog. Look at Look at this. I name this dog something like Pennsylvania. You know what? Oh, That's not a bad name. Pencil. <laughs> okay, so right <laughs> now we have uh, Martin. That's that's pretty yeah, solid. Martin. That, Martin he, who he, has an automotive shop. Yeah. Uh, we have Grumps. Dirt from his shop. <laughs> Grumps yeah. is pretty good. Yeah, that fit. Yeah. Whatever it is. Shop he kind of yeah he he kind of gives me yeah I, oh see that's good that's good. You almost kind of need to give him, um... Aren't they usually, like, button-up shirts? 
Yeah, but yeah, it's true. I know, he's got kind of like See, a his story. His on. story is evolving. True, his story's always evolving. That's what life is. Life is. I feel like your dog would be kind of like the helper at the shop. That oh yeah, he, he in this on. in this universe, it's like uh, it's like Goofy and a dog, where it's like you're the humanoid just... dog, and then this is just kind of like the pet yeah. dog, and nobody questions it. This is just the shop dog. Your dog. Is that great here? I'm gonna try to fit. Look at that dog. I need some now, Winston, get over here. Uh, where? What are you doing now? Oh, that's a good name. Gotta Winston. show you this. That's a very dog name. Yeah, it's true. Slobbery dog. <laughs> what do you think of the name Bort? <laughs> Bort. Welcome to Bort's uh, an auto wrecking shop. Just like The Simpsons, uh, you'll like you'll have a uh, a license plate name that just says "board" on it. Oh yeah, I was always really sad because I could never find my mm -hmm. name on any of those racks. <laughs> okay, uh, it's okay, board. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <gasps> Look how cute! Look at these oh, two. Your dog. No, I could yeah, I could never find my name at stuff either. That just makes us more unique, like right? Zoe would be. No, it's not. It like now, be. now it would be. Mm. I would say Zoe's way more popular now. It wasn't back in the in the early two thousands and the nineties. Wasn't really a yeah. thing yet. Yeah, I don't think there. Maybe if mine was now, it would be like a K. And I don't know who's naming their children after the actual vegetable, which is a little weird, but why not? You have you have yeah, well, like you have plenty of names that are derived, you know, derived from vegetables and, and foods and foods. Ooh, he kind of looks like a nacho. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see that. He's kind of he's got some nacho energy. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Bob. I mean, Bobby's still a great funny dog name. Bobby. Did you always knew you were gonna name your dog Charlie? Or like, were there um, like other dog names yeah. in mind? We had Charlie or Ellie. Aww. Um, but we stuck with Charlie. Um, I think it was like, I don't remember if we were originally looking and it was like gonna be a little male dog. And so we were like, Charlie. And then we found um, what is now Charlie, and we were like, oh, let's stay with Charlie. She can be a, a female Charlie. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, Charlie's a unisex she name. She rocks that works. it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. You like running into the random, usually older person who's confused by it. What? Charlie? But it's a no, female like, dog? I, we had it's so many... Charlie. Yeah, we had so many different like a whole list of dog names and then we ended up not even going with any of those dog names we just like got our dog what from the shelter name? his name is zombie oh my god so good oh thank you we just like his original name was tank and we're like no no nah, we can't do yeah. tank that's just not his vibe and we just kind of looked at him and we're like oh, you know he's giving me zombie energy so <laughs> Thank you, Elisa. Zombie is a good boy. He he's he's great. He's like he he just has good crazy zombie energy. So Bill Zombie Energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a great name. It's so awesome. Thank you, thank you. Uh let's see. I have two dogs right here in my studio. The big guy is <laughs> extra pickles, and the little girl is Tater Tot. That's so oh, Tater cute. Tot. So That's good. so cute. I wanted to we did play with the name Pickles before. Pickles is a we great to get name. A, get a pig and name it Pickles. And like not just Pickles, like tot. extra Pickles. And yeah, it's so good. Oh, so man. Cute. Nah, we my cousin's dog has like her name is Colby, like Colby Cheese, 
super cute. Um, <laughs> but then, like, she just started getting rounder and rounder, so everyone <laughs> calls her Potato. Like, she's just <laughs> she's just a cute little potato dog. I think I've even called her like Tater Tot once or twice. It's such a good name. Yeah. Food names, yeah. Good food name. names are great for dogs. I remember a friend named their dog Sweatpants. What? Sweatpants? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> Sweatpants. A random name. That's so good. Uh, same oh, cousin oh, also um, got to pet sit a friend's cat, and the cat's name was Karen. That's a great name for a cat. <laughs> that is a good cat name. Uh, so good. Look here, Nacho. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's 750 uh, over here. I'm realizing, like, I... W however long you want to uh, go, dude, you're... Just let me know. I, I don't know if you have other stuff you have to do, whatever, but... I'm just uh, chilling right now. Don't you have, like, somewhere you gotta... Oh, yeah. Right? Uh. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, I'm thinking... I do have a thing tonight. I'm looking at the clock now, so let's maybe go for... Let's go. I'm down for like 15 more minutes if you're down. All right, yeah, yeah. <gasps> this dog is so cute. This is like Charlie. <gasps> Charlie. Mm. Just staring with her doll eyes. It almost kind of looks like um the uh, it looks dog. Looks like a uh, Hilda dog right now. It does look like a Hilda dog. The fox, fox, wolf, wolf, fox, fox. Whatever. Hilda's so cute. Um, so well done, like. Oh, but it's yeah, so. I think that show is super underrated. I know, and it's like, it feels like not. I don't know if conflicting is the right word, but just like, because I know Luke did the books with flying eye and i've heard horrible things about flying oh, eye really? yeah so i'm like i just hope so he... sad because like way back it was like the coolest seeming place like yeah I, I wanted to work with them so bad um yeah so too. i just i just hope like luke uh got at least a good oh this dog <laughs> <laughs> I have to copy you. <laughs> um, I just hope he got like uh, a good deal with doing the um, mm. doing the the Netflix show. Yeah, hopefully. But I mean, he works on on it as well. Oh, he does. So oh, good, like, good, 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 good. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure in the credits, and I don't just see it as under like created by. I think. I mean, I could be wrong, um, but I th I'm pretty sure I, I thought I saw that he... Okay, I I, yeah, so. I, I, mean, I hope so, so yeah. Yeah. And... God, that dog, your dog is just so good! And I says to him, I says, get your paws off me. <laughs> <laughs> you just made it. I love the style. It's just, it gives me like, um, oh, what energy. Like, I know, like, it probably wasn't your intention, but it just gives me like early 2000s, like, Nicktoons energy. Where, oh, I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, or it, like, uh, part of it reminds me of like some of the weird dogs and like all dogs go to heaven or something. Oh, yeah. Great movie. Excellent movie. Great movie, yeah. Very dark. When you like rewatch it, and you're like, "Wow, oh, yeah. there's a lot of shit going down here. Dogs oh. are dying and kidnapping little girls and yeah, murder going on." Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That is pretty intense. I, I didn't realize until I was uh, older yeah. that the dog was supposed to be like a reference for like, like, like Scarface or something. Like it's it's oh, supposed to be like a gangster yeah, like dog. The bad guy. Yeah, I like yeah, didn't because yeah. his name is Carface, which is hilarious. Oh and, yeah. And like any. Yeah. He... Oh uh, yeah, and then uh, the Satan dog, which was little little scary. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh. 
See, this is why I like need to do this stuff more often because it, it's just so fun to just draw stupid stuff like this. I like There's yours is a better refined version. No, <laughs> it's not. Like, not no, yours, yours is like I face like, too. I like the head shape of yours more. It's like more like long. I don't know. How to do, like, it's just so good. Yeah, I gotta give you some room. I like totally took over. No, I'm. Uh, I was taking over. That's why I, I uh, closed down my my uh, whatever his name was. Bort. 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 Little doggies. I just like this little guy right here. I was inspired by how you drew your dog. Kind of looks like Charlie. <gasps> oh. You know, just like fully stretched out. Cute. Oh, Charlie. I gotta fix the oh, tail. Oh, nice little sit. This is a good old sit. Look at that sit. Where is it? Fluffy dog. I don't draw little dogs that often. Yeah. Again, I just kind of draw the generic, like, dogs usually, or just, like, pugs. That would be me if I had to draw cats. I would just do, like, the generic cat. Yeah. Meow. Oh, you went very generic. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that body shape. Mm, that's a dancing cat. Proud. Well, now I feel like I have to draw a dancing cat. Oh, uh, your cat is like very classy looking. Um. Oh, he's gonna hold a top hat. Mm. Oh, so nice. Ah, uh, like I'm... a magic show, or just like, or like a classy like uh, cabaret dance or something. <gasps> yes, I gotta do the bow tie. Oh, so good! I wanna draw it. Well, you draw. Yeah, you draw it too. You can do it. I'll put, yeah, the cat's gonna go here. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, your proportions are so good. <laughs> yeah, it's just getting kind of. Uh, <laughs> what's going to happen? Uh, what? Oh, you? your dang expressions are so good. <laughs> I took a sip of water and then I saw you draw the mouth, and I almost spat out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Been around. <laughs> and I'll teach you some moves. Good one, two, hat shake. I'll show you, Shunny. There we go. In my day, this was called the old catnip hop. For my ankles ache. I just like keep feeding off of like your like drawing energy and I'm like, oh, it's so good. Oh, I had that accident the other week, got my arm in a cast. But I still dance. Aww, oh, see, yeah, you already have a that. good story. <laughs> yeah, it keeps going. That's with my crutch. They call me old Tim. Not tiny Tim. Not that tiny. That's a good crutch, you actually. Draw crutches? That's a oh, actually a really kid. good crutch. As I'm like, oh god, things and connecting things, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back from the time. Just a big old happy face. Maybe just some little teeth showing. Oh, that's excellent. It's like he still got it. Oh yeah, I like the thumb out. He's, that was yeah, an awesome idea. yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna fix it. Where he's giving a thumbs up. Oh, I just gotta get me. He's a superstar. Suspenders. There we go. 
<laughs> I love this is better. That's so cute. There you go. You gotta wear some little pants. He's gotta have a little oh, chest hair. <laughs> yours is so good. No, yours is oh, so good. Yours better. looks really like in shape too. I love your like the proportions are like very like broad shouldered. Like, well, <laughs> no, I dance I when I'm not working at the construction site. <sighs> no, yours is so round and per. Oh my god, I love like chonky boy. I love the chonky old dude. Yeah, man. I see. Just, I gotta uh, get. I yeah. I gotta give him more like rolls like you did. Oh, I like your uh, yours. Looks like. He's lifting lumber and then going dancing on the weekend. That's a good story. Right? Work hard. There we go. Work hard and we dance hard. See, I, I love the the lines that you see. Like, the thing is, it looks like my guy got punched. Well, <laughs> I mean, maybe that's how the arm got broke. Yeah, he I got, mean, uh, got he got into fisticuffs. a fight. Yeah, he got into fisticuffs at the bar. Um, All right. Yeah. Uh, That's fighting words. Oh man, you should see the other cat. The other cat didn't make it out alive. Yeah, that's right. Real cat fight. Oh, my body. Oh, oh yeah, now I now I have to do. Another way where I can give him a black eye. Right. Oh, my baby. Hello, you did honey. It. Oh, hello, miss. Care for a dance? Don't mind the bruises. This is so sad. You know, he takes it like a champ. He's he's very proud of his baby. Uh, it's and his very scars. positive outlook still, yeah. you know? No matter how many times falls down, old Chesterfield gets back up there you go he looks like old yeah he's he's got old manchester vibes yeah oh manchesterfield the second oh i love that tongue and i like the little uh muzzle dots that kind of look like almost uh, hairs on yours <laughs> yeah, cat, cats, have, like, cats have like, the... he, Oh, go ahead. <laughs> he just got punched, like, literally in the face, in, like, one second before. Yeah, he was. Time. Yeah, oh, wait. Like, I... He's still taking in that he got hit. Yeah, he's still taking in. I gotta draw, uh, like, uh, what is it, like. And another thing. Like, rubber duckies going around his head. And... Yeah. Well, this brush I did is pretty big, but. What you say about. Something that I punch you over. That's where you draw ducks, right? Beep beep. Yeah. Beep beep. Oh, he got me good. Oh, I like the sailor tattoos. Yeah, real, real, real muscle cat muscles. Oh, see, this is great. <laughs> You got cat said you guys are so entertaining that I stopped working 20 minutes ago. Oh, I hope we didn't keep you away from something important. <laughs> yeah, some very important work transplanting an organ right now. See now like it's amazing how we started off by like doing actually serious like doodles. Yeah, that tree was the worst. No, no, that tree was amazing. Yeah, now it's Nice to get back to Chesterfield where I belong. Yeah, exactly. Hey, name's Chesterfield. I sell kitchenware and pots and appliances. Now, it, now it's like now every time I have an opportunity to draw with another artist, now I just want to do this where we're just like building like a character together. I think that's genius. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's pretty oh, fun. are you putting a pot on his head? Yeah, it's not really working because it's kind of. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, um, does he use it for armor? Well, he sells pots. Oh, um, okay. He's like... It does just look like it's sitting behind him, because I didn't draw any sort of actual fitting perspective. You maybe, know yeah. Going. Maybe he's Regret like, life. uh... Maybe he's like Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite, where he has to sell, like, Tupperware, and he's like, oh, Tupperware can do so <laughs> many different things. <laughs> Yeah, you can wear totally. it as a hat. Look at this. You can put it on your head. What a hat. Forget about top hats. This top hat will keep you safe. 
It's two on the go. Oh, these are just so great. I love, and I Did thankfully, you, uh, uh, there. yeah, thankfully this I can save this as a, a PSD file so we can have all of these beautiful layers. All the, the pretty treasures. Oh, he's got a big old pot on his head. Yeah, I'm putting on another layer. I just want to, uh, yeah, just playing around, adding 50 layers. <laughs> adding 50 gajillion layers. Yep. There we go. There we go. Say there. Let us see a dancing cat with a pot on his head. Oh, so grumpy. I'm trying. I'm gonna do. Uh, the... I was like gonna do something with that arm, like that. How you draw oh, the you beefy arm? Back? Yeah. Or... Let, let me. Oh god, I can't draw muscles. Too many layers. Can't find the. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah. Who's like? Who's got the arm? Yeah. Who? Um... who who's? Who's the guy that's got the arm? Oh, he would have like. Much smaller eyes, I think. Ooh, wait, unibrow. Oh my god, is this a what on earth is is that a is that a duck? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was gonna be a fish. Wait, but fish? I don't know how to see keep why. The your ideas are so much better. They're so, like you're so creative on the fly. What'd you say about my lady? <laughs> I like your muscly fish. Now listen here, pal. Oh, you, I like you're like. Duck. Yeah, I'm changing it to a duck now. I like that idea way better. I like the duck a lot. It gives you. Oh, look at those nips. Look at those nips. Oh, look at the tiny like. Oh, shirt. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Oh wow, so much power. So much power. Extreme power. Oh wow, very nice. I mean, oh thank looks you. Looks like would be um at like a, a muscle. Yeah, he's com he competes. Muscle building thing. Oh yeah, I can tell. I mean, and probably wins. Uh. I want to try to. Yeah, draw actually, it. is he a winner? Oh. Is he a winner? What, what if he always oh, like gets runners up or something? Always gets right. Yeah. Just because of his duck head. And his duck feet. <laughs> he would win, but my god, it's a duck. I mean, it's I a, it's a, it's a, it's a goddamn duck. A duck. Can we give the award to a duck? I mean, well, no rules about it. But it don't feel right. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the anchor tattoo. Oh yeah, got it. There you go, and then heart with a snake. Oh, glorious. Oh, oh it's like a swan. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> How do you do all like a sailor? <laughs> Yeah, whoa, I don't know what you drew, but I like it better. I, I don't know. I like your little, you did a little topper thing. I it's don't know what it is. I'm like, nice. I'm like, he's a little sailor. Oh, hey, bro. <laughs> We're uh, operating on uh, Air Bud rules. No one said a duck couldn't be a bodybuilder. Yeah, that's true. Uh, hey. Nobody said a golden retriever couldn't play basketball. So yeah, so ducks can do what ducks are gonna do. Ugh, I hate this duck, but I can't stop. No, it's a great duck. 
Oh, I gotta give him a medal. Probably the worst thing I've drawn. Drone. It's the, You've it drone? is the worst thing I've drawn or drawn. No, the... it is amazing. I like oh, the uh, no, I like this? the hair. Oh, God. oh, what? No one ever told me that I was getting sewn on to this guy. I gotta stop this drawing because I hate it so much. No, but... well then. <laughs> you gotta know when to call it quits. Look how good your drawing is. No, what are you talking about? You're drawing so good. <laughs> nope, nothing there anymore. What is that? Horrifying. Oh, second place. Yeah, he only got second place. It, again, it's just the it's just his head. Oh, wait, do we do we have an onlooker? Do we have a fan? Mm hmm. Mm, don't know about that. It's a duck. I mean. Aww. Oh. Yeah. Right, oh no. Four. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, if, well if he's getting graded, then he can't have a medal just yet. Oh, well... Wait, wait, no, yeah, okay, yeah, I yeah, I gotta, I gotta... Second place, but... Yeah. Mm, that way, it's okay, I can give sucks. him, I can give him the chest here again. Oh, chest's a little swirly. Yeah. Or against ducks being in the, uh... Uh oh, a duck judging another duck. Get out of here! This show's not for ducks. Onlooker is really passionate about who can be in a bodybuilding show. Get him off the stage! <laughs> Making a mockery of uh, this Good. fine thing. There's always one heckler in the crowd. Uh, always someone. Some prejudice against ducks against and bodybuilding. Just makes me sick. Oh, we have to do this again. There's just so many ideas that we can make together. <laughs> this is too good. Fun. It's pretty fun. I know. I know. You, Because you were streaming for a while, too. Are you still doing it? You should. I'm trying to do it more, but I just... Uh, I don't know what... Um, but yeah, I'm meaning to uh, do it more. Ooh, stiff competition. <laughs> it's gonna be a... His wife, but I don't know what it is. It might be another competitor, or she, they look pretty nervous. Muscly. <laughs> oh, how do you follow that act? How do you, how do you follow that act? There you go. Maybe more of like a jaw drop. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. So beautiful. beautiful. Beautiful duck. Make my heart pump. Wait, I have to change the expression. Oh, what happened? I'm gonna change his expression. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good. Very, like... Body. Kind of. Oh, God. I mean, that first expression was too good. Just townspeople. It was good. I like this... <laughs> Uh, so he, he has to hold his breath. Oh yeah, that makes sense, yeah. He's gotta like... All... All oiled up. Oh, can I rotate? Yes, okay. Oh, nice, yeah. I'm still figuring out like what the duels are I can do. Um, how do you draw things? Um... Uh, Kat said, uh, thanks for these uh, 2.45 hours. You two are fun to watch. Thank you. Yeah, we should do this Yay. again. Yeah, no, I'm down. Whenever. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, it's 8.15. All right. Finish your quick worm turkey. Yeah. Oh, it's then... a pigeon. Oh, oh I'm no. sorry. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Why? I have... no, Everything I'm was sorry. going so good. No, 
Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend uh, your pigeon. Oh, uh, worm pigeon. <laughs> Took it literally. <laughs> Please love me. That's an abomination. Look at that guy. Okay. Yeah. Very beautiful. Aw, it's so cute. Right? Now I'm adorable. Who doesn't want to adopt it? I know. Now, okay, next idea that we'll do next time will just be animal hybrids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it seems like it. Some sort of name an animal, see what happens. But look at this guy. Look at that guy. Look Good. at that guy. I hope Winner. he wins first place. I mean, no, but still, you know, maybe we'll place. Alright, yeah. yeah, I think we'll judging by the clock, yeah, I think, unfortunately judging by the clock, I do have to head out, but I do want to say, here. yeah, thank you, Kale, for doing this with me, this was rad. Yeah, You're so fun. thanks for having me, it was fun, I enjoyed I it. Oh, gosh, and th thank you all in the Let's chat do it for, again soon. yes, exactly, yeah, thank yeah. you all in the chat for giving us ideas. Thanks for anybody. Yeah! Yeah, ideas so much... and watching. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, and all the questions. Yeah. The, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. We should do this again sometime, my fun. dude. All right. Oh, do it's it so cute! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready oh, whenever. and I, I totally forgot to ask you so many other questions. So I will. We just got so lost in the fun yeah, we'll stuff. Do it, yeah. So I will bring yeah, more questions. Yeah, the fun stuff's been an acer. We, don't, we only need so much of the, like, uh, I don't know, draw a lot and send stuff and. Stuff. I don't know. That's true. Place needs to say anything. Or we could draw a weird duck goose muscular. Exactly. All right. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah we'll right. stay cool in beans. touch. And cool beans. Oh, I yeah. haven't heard. I haven't heard anyone say cool beans in a really long time. <laughs> well, it's the coolest of beans. So yeah. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for well, stopping in. Thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, you guys are rad. Bye. Bye.